returned uh, to Davian. Uh, what is everyone else doing? Winley's taking a second to see how the grapevines are doing okay. that she cast plant growth on. Okay. Uh, the vineyard seems to be coming quite quite well back within that area. Um, and it, you, you can almost sense that they, like, even just, like, proximity seem very, uh, call it, as much as plants can be, enthused at the, the return of the second gem. Good. Uh, Doc, Ash? Um, I guess I'll stay with our, uh, elf friend and try to figure out, like, is he staying here, or is he gonna move on to, does, cause he has people back with the Vistani, doesn't he, or... Mm-hmm. Uh, well, he, he actually asks Doc, what, what what exactly is your intention? Are you heading back to Velaki soon? Um, I would, of course, want to double-check with my uh, companions and everything, but I think we were planning on resting up here, and then I, so did we decide if we were going to go out and go for the skull and come back with it, or how we wanted to handle Ooh, that? Oh, boy, we have not had that conversation. Uh, so yeah, we haven't really talked about it. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> in which case it would basically be... I think we're still working out our next steps here in terms of what we want to do. Well, we're at least staying here overnight. Yeah, we're definitely staying here overnight. Given the dangers I encountered just, just simply on the road, I'd prefer not to head back to Velaki until you are. So okay. if it's all right, I would stay here and uh, help about the place, of course. I, I, oh, I sure, sure. I keep. Yeah, I feel like they'd welcome an extra pair of hands, and we've earned some goodwill with them, so if nothing else will favor towards us to... So, yep. if we did want to approach the topic of trying to get the skull, um, we know where it is because you guys all have remembered. Um, so, I, if we wanted to even consider that, our, our best bet would probably to get with um, uh, what was her name? Was it Esmeralda? Yeah. Who had broken in there before? Yeah. And find out how she got in and how she like you know got around without being detected for so long. Um, cause we know exactly where we need to go in there. So hopefully it'd be like an in and out smash and grab, but we definitely want to get with her to find out how she did it. If it's even possible. Yeah. I mean, it's obviously Cause possible cause she got in there. Cause we're certainly time. not getting invited back in. That's yeah, true. That was a one, once in a lifetime thing. I guess theoretically, if we were going back, we could also scope around for Carol, see if we could get, or not Carol, I'm sorry, uh, email the mm-hmm. the werewolf, see if we could spring him from the hoose gal. We could also, um, if, we are, if we are going back to Vlocky, we could swing by there and see if, uh, oh my god, uh, the bartender guy knows, has anything on where the third uh, stone is, you know? Yeah. Um, we also have Kresk that we still haven't uh, That is visited. true. I mean, do we have anything... So, okay, let's, let's <coughs> take stock of, you know, potential quest lines to follow. Kresk. Kresk, though, do we have anything sending us We're there? still theoretically supposed to be finding another bishop That's for right. uh, the That's Rovian. right. It's not even in the quest log, but it's just a nice thing for yeah. us to do. Uh, Ash, you were having visions since you were reborn of some... Some ancient temple or mausoleum yep. or some ancient temple, temple or ruins in the in the side of a mountain or something like that. Okay, and we heard from the keepers about that place with bad juju. Um, we know that stuff's happening in Velaki. I guess we could ask Davy, um, uh, the people here. But we were only gone for like two days, right? We. Traveled to the ruins of uh, the it's village. Been three, it's been three days since you've been in Velaki. Or after after this night, you'll have finished a third day since you've been in Velaki. In Velaki. But we left the Wizard of Lines. We spent a long rest in the ruins of the village where we fought Baba La Saga. Yeah. Actually, you're coming up on four days. Yeah. So, But we left the Wizard of Wines and came back two days ago. We, like, we left. We spent a day away. This you left the Wizard of Wines yesterday morning. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, so theoretically, they wouldn't have. I mean, maybe they have l- faster lines of communication, but in theory, even if they sent like a shipment of wine to Velaki and spread the word of our untimely demise, um, we don't know if we'd get any feedback from the fallout of that yet. So Harmony's only reluctance in returning to Velaki is like, we just told them we're dead, and that would sort of give up the ghost because there's no way we could 
It would be very difficult to get back in Balaki and... We also kind of knew that that ruse was only going to last for so long. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, we do also have at least two party members that can disguise themselves. Mm-hmm. So if we, yeah, yeah, if we so wanted to get some intel like on what's intel. going on sure, in Velaki, sure. we could easily disguise uh, so ourselves as a pair of travelers. Savid needs to get back to the camp outside of Velaki because that's where he lives. But mm-hmm. he was, seemed happy to hang out here in the meantime. Hermie will ask Savid. So, Casimir requested our help with. He wanted. He was researching resurrection magic, right? He spoke of an old temple with some ancient power that could potentially bring back his sister, I think it was. Um, Do you know which specific temple. Has he spoken to you about this? Do you know which specific temple he was speaking of? He shakes his head. I have never heard of such a thing. Okay. Um, all right. Just, I, you know, thought it might be worth asking since you know Casimir and he made that request of us back when I was dead. (laughs) Um, uh, okay. So, Harmony will, I guess we're just sort of probably like hanging out in the evening and like as a party discussing these things. Sure. So, Harmony will say, like, Ash, these visions you're having, how. Does it seem urgent? Do you feel drawn to... If we can somehow return Ash's memories... I saw the vision once, and it was when we were walking through that mist. Yeah, when we were coming back from yesterday. And um, I I would hope that it would, you know, have something that could restore me, you know, but that's just a hope. uh, There's nothing that calls to me. And the description we got from uh, the Keepers about that temple that they were talking about sort of lined up with what Ash saw? Uh, make, it, make an intelligence check. Okay. Doc, you want to do that? Just Ash. Just Ash. Ash is one person who's seen it. Mm-hmm. Hard to say. still at a negative seven, so huh. I know nothing, Jon Snow. Oh, hard to say. Hard to say. Okay. Um... So, our options are Kresk, for no real reason other than... (laughs) Doc's curiosity. (laughs) Well, and potentially a um, a replacement priest for the the village of Barovia. I mean, no offense to the village of Barovia, but Winley is not super concerned about that. I think Um, that's As far as returning a priest, like... Right. She wants and, to defeat the evil in this place. Right. And we yeah. don't really have anything pressing drawing us back to the village of Barovia beyond... No. Um, but Matt Mary, you know, her daughter's okay. Yeah. yeah. And, and the two orphans that aren't really but, orphans. I'm not right. saying any of that is but... particularly <laughs> urgent. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, Kresk... I mean, yes, if we go back to the village of Barovia, we should also check those boxes. Kresk, uh, we, we don't have a strong if, reason. You know, to... If the, these guys make any kind of shipments to the village of Barovia, we could pass a letter on with them to go to the Burgomaster and then, and, you know, to um, an extension Mary. to Mad Mary. Yeah. Gertruda safe in Velaki, etc. Yeah. Um, Says you're not a real mom or something. Like that. <laughs> seems, seems like. <laughs> um. So, Kresk, not a real pressing reason to go there, yeah. but a possibility. This temple, we don't know a lot about. Seems like bad news, but Ash is having visions of a temple in the Wait, mountainside. Do we have any idea where it is? Uh, they gave us a vague direction, right? Uh, I said in the mountains to the south. Yep. Okay. And there were barbarian tribes in that same vicinity? I or, yeah, we the see, yeah, because the barbarian like tribes would send people into it right. as a trial. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so... What were you saying, Jake? Sorry, Jake. Yeah. No, no, I, I was just saying we've seen, like, trails and paths leading up into those mountains. And I know there was that one, like, little encampment. Did we come to the conclusion that that was probably where some of those barbarians had stayed, or... Yeah, so no what we thought was remember. some of those barbarians, because there was like two trails from that place, so yep. some of the barbarians went to go to the hilltop where we killed them, yes, and there was yeah. another 
trail that led off somewhere else. And our assumption, I thought, was that those ones were going to go to the trial in the creepy temple. There was a trial? Yeah, the, the barbarians used the creepy temple as a trial of sorts. Oh, okay, cool. Good Let's go check it out. That seems like a potential lead, yeah. Um, Harney would, and me as a player, and sorry I'm talking so much, um, would express their reluctance to like, I mean, we'd have to go talk to Esmeralda about how to, you know, launch Assault on Castle Ravenloft, but that's a reluct Harmony's reluctant to <laughs> go back there. I mean, obviously we have some good reasons too, but... Trying to... I think skull to its rightful place right yeah no that's definitely a good reason um all just to, to ash right i think it's a good reason to all of us but like is it compelling enough to try to <coughs> sneak into strahd's home i think i think the authority on that the temple is much closer is it not i think to where we are now yeah i mean i think yes do we need to go in to try to steal this dragon skull back yeah, obviously, but I think that the fact that you're getting visions about this temple and it's it's nearby. Just, just one. Yeah, I'm theorizing that you may have more. Um, <laughs> it would it would be great to have Ash's memories back. It would, it would, and per I mean, we were expressing part of why we went to the the keep is we were looking for allies against Strahd. So Especially since we're able to theoretically at the moment move in relative quiet since yeah. without his attention on us. I think I probably will. going to Ash's creepy vision place, um, <laughs> since we kind of have the winery here as a, a safe Base. safe house. Um, you know, rest here overnight, go check out the creepy keep, and then So and real fast. Yeah. The only time sensitive thing that we know of at this point is Velaki, right? Stuff is happening there. Things are going into motion. You know, that's time sensitive. But we also know that I'm almost useless right now. Yeah. In any yeah. I have my spell slots for healing is the only good thing I can do. Um, did we want to try and send the more, you know, disguisey people to go scope out Velaki and see what the situation there is and then maybe try and... Dip Determine on what we see there, maybe take a few days to try and get me in a better, better um, shape. As this conversation is kind of happening, Winley will suggest, like, why don't we ask the people here if anyone has been to Vlaki and just see what we can learn about what's going on there before we make any decisions about where we're okay. going. That's awesome. It's a good point. Do it in the morning after our rest and then go from there. Yeah. Uh, I mean, What time is it at this point? Uh, it is in the evening. Yeah, we could probably just ask, like, yeah. Harmony would ask, like, any word from Velaki in the couple days we were, in the day or so we were away. Uh, Davian kind of, kind of shrugs. Uh, Adrian went to go deliver the wine to the Blue Water, but he has not returned. He only left yesterday, though. Right, yeah, yeah. I, I know you guys have eyes and ears, so wasn't sure if you'd heard anything. Yeah, my, my point being like, any any time that I could spend trying to not have a negative seven on things. Sure. Uh, Winley will also ask him if he knows um, just based upon having lived here, when the next festival will be. Like, how many days until the next festival at Velaki? Oh, I haven't been there in several years. I don't okay. know. We know it's the blazing sun and we know it was at the end of the 10 day but we yeah. lost track of where in that 10 day we are yes surely he would know when the end of the 10 day is it's tomorrow okay oh, oh well oh well um so, we've, so, so we either go to Velaki for whatever that festival is like tomorrow or we we're dead decide we don't need that to we... be at the festival <laughs> well yeah uh okay so here's a thought because i liked the idea of asking erwin if he had any leads on where the third stone would be since he's the one who lost it could we do we trust do they, we they just scream for do we trust erwin enough to send him ascending and be like hey erwin we're not dead keep it hush any idea where the third magic plant stone might be because he would be able to reply <laughs> i'm sure we'd word it more carefully but like do we trust erwin enough to keep hush to not break our silence if we 
Because if we wanted, you know, he could reply if he had any check on Irene at some point here too. How far, like as far as time, how long does it take to get to Velaki? You got there in a day. Uh, It's about half a day. About half a day. Okay, so options are creepy temple, back to Velaki, and try to keep our heads down and Mm -hmm. scope out the place. It's been like four days, you said, since we left Velaki. Yep. Okay. Well, those are our two options. Mina's voting for the temple. Uh, I mean, what what are our concerns with Velaki other than Arena being safe? She didn't reply to the sending. She did not. I could do one sending uh, right now. Okay. Um, so the I'd have to upcast it. It would cost me a fourth level spell, but I could. Right. If we wanted to do a sending, we could also you know do a sending to Lady Walker and just see... You know, well, I don't know if we trust her after what uh, we heard from Davian. Um, well, so they, they said that they're a little suspect of her, but they didn't yeah. have any outright evidence that she was right. bad. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't alert anyone to yeah. our not being dead that we don't right. implicitly trust. So, the question is, do we trust Erwin enough to we reveal did. our being alive and ask him... We did the bishop. Oh, the Lucian? Father. Yeah, Lucian. Well, he wouldn't know where the stone. Well, but he would know if uh, Arena Arena's yeah. still around. I mean, the, my only hesitation with that: Are you able to tell if, like, <laughs> does, does something have read receipts? Do you know if it got there? <laughs> Left on because red. I was curious whether, like, the magic of the church could be blocking sending, like, in any mm-hmm. other form of divination magic. You do not know if it does that, right? We we know that someone can respond to the sending, right? But that's if but, it's received. Well, yeah, yeah. So if the my concern with sending Father Lucian is if something if the blocked, magic yeah. at the church is blocking. I say, is there anyone else in town that we trust enough to? Well, I mean, did... Danica and Irwin, uh, more Ar- Danica Arena's, than Irwin. Arena's um, gentleman friend. Uh, oh, Vasily. Ooh. I don't know. Um, I, I mean, he's like trustworthy. He's, not at the church, like... he's trustworthy. But we specifically didn't want him to go to the church because we know that the Burgomaster. Well, is right, but him. if we are concerned about things going on in Velaki and we're right. not sure if we can get to Arena, right. we can at least ask him. Do we need to come back? Right, like, I, I how remember. are things? Like,. It, it was, since it was a few weeks ago, I can't remember. When I did the sending to Arena the first time, we got no response back. Was that... Yeah, we got no response. That's okay. That's why I was curious if it had read receipts so you could even tell if it had been delivered. Yeah. She left you on red. Uh, okay. I mean, I, I think that, like, we're getting ready to rest. If you have the spell swap for yeah. sending, we should definitely use it. We should just decide. Erwin, Danica, uh, or Vasily. Oh, well... Reluctant to try Father Lucian just because if Arena's okay, she would have responded, I think. And assuming she's okay. And assuming she received it. Right. That's why I'm reluctant to try Father Lucian. Because... I think we try either Danica or Vasily. Okay. What's... Jake, Tom, what do you guys think about who we trust more? Um... Between the two, I would I would do Vasily, but I think we trust him more. Well, I'm concerned but I think that he Danica but Danica's like in Danica's yeah. in on like the order. Vasily's not. That's true. I would I would vote Danica just because uh, Vasily doesn't strike me as the type to hold up to uh, intense scrutiny. That very much is. not. Yeah. The le- we want to burden him with, and he's already under the Burgomaster's yeah. suspicion. Yeah, and I think Danica would probably know more. Yeah. Okay, so what specifically do we want to say? Like, hi, Danica. What up? We're not dead. Please don't spread that around. How are things? Okay, so yeah, because we have like a word limit. Yeah, was it 25? 25 well, yeah. so let's assume, uh, maybe we shouldn't assume, but maybe, I, I don't know. We, we've let the order in on the fact that we want people to know we're dead. But right. Surely they would tell other people in their, their order that these guys are alive. Keep it hush hush. I mean. Yeah. We may not want to spend words on that. Let, let's ask. It's worth asking one, one of them. You Davian. Know? Yeah. If yeah. we, if we were so to send a magical message. We're, we're okay. Yeah. So yeah. we're alive. Keep mum. How's the church? Well, <laughs> okay. Do, uh. 
let's see. How's the Lucky? We might not need to waste, we should, we need to waste words right. on telling him that we're alive and be quiet about it if he already knows that we're alive and to keep quiet yeah, about um, it. Does upcasting give you more words? Let's doesn't. start there. Uh, probably not, but looking. Um, does upcasting it do anything? I don't think so. Sending. No. It really Upcasting does nothing. <clears throat> Great. Okay. Uh, Unless so, the DM says otherwise, because you could probably make a ruling on that. Um, but Harmony would it, no. ask Davian, um, so when the message, when 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 our, the shipment arrives in Vol- at the Blue Water, um, will are Danica and Irwin kept like in the loop on circle business? Would they be told that we're actually alive, even though we're spreading the message that we're dead? They've always proven cooperative with the family, even though we are not uh, close anymore. Harmony nods. Um, okay. So, uh, my... What I think the intent of this message, if we're sending it to Danica, should be is, like, basically finding out... <laughs> what the state of play is. Yeah, what's going how, on yeah. in Velaki? What's up in Velaki? Like, Do we need to come back? Is basically, yeah, like, yeah. like, you know... The state of the politics of the place right. is a shit show following Right, because we just need to find out, like, whatever. how, ur- like, are we, like, urgently needed back yeah. there for yeah. whatever reason. Um, uh, so it would be something like, uh, we don't need to spend two words on hi, Danica. Probably um, not. Uh, uh, we're alive. It's a secret. <laughs> Again, let's ask the people here who have sent the messages out. Just did. They, they haven't gotten it yet. Because if we don't need to waste words on that, we don't need to waste words on that. Well, have we, we okay. So we got to figure out what we're going to say. Uh, no, we got to find out what this guy potentially knows, and then we can determine what we need to say well, to him. Well, he said that, that Erwin and Danica have always been cooperative with the family. Um, so assumedly that means that, yes, they're kept in the loop. They, but we don't know Let's that the word is... We're right here. We, well, did. we did. and that's what Dan said. He just said, they've always been cooperative with the family. Oh, okay. I missed that yeah. part. I apologize. Uh, but we don't know that word has reached them yet because it's been a day, two days now. Yeah, it's only half a day's journey to get there. That's true. So he's probably there. Or okay. say, with a cart, maybe a little longer, but still right. less than a day. Right. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, so... We, but basically, the intent of this message, however we word it, is uh, we want to find out if things, you know, if whatever state Velaki is in is something that requires us to return immediately, and also we'd like to know, like, scene arena lately, or something like that. Um, By somebody doing the sending spell. Well, it would have to be Ash. Yeah, we just Ash gotta, is the only one. We just got to figure out what we're saying. I mean, I don't really think we need twenty-five words. So, right. How's so, Velaki? What's going on? Do we need to come back? That's pretty much all we need to ask. And which is seen, well under twenty-five. And seen words. arena lately. Yeah. How's I mean? Velaki? God, I hope not. And you're sending this to who? Danica. To Danica. Okay. Um, Ash, you do you send that message? Yes. Okay. Please respond. <laughs> <laughs> Throw uh, those in there. Please don't leave on red. Yeah. Yeah. There is a long, uh, kind of a long pause uh, oh. as you kind of finish speaking the, the words and whatnot. Uh, and then Ash, a moment later. You up. New phone, who dis? <laughs> New cleric, who dis? Does not want to let me whisper you for some reason. Hopefully it's just not two words. Shit's fucked. <laughs> well, that'd be an answer. I mean, it sure would be an answer. How many words can they send back? It, it comes. Oh, it's, it's 25, 25 as well. Okay. Right. They can send the exact answer. same amount back. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> they think you're dead. We still told her we weren't. Okay. Okay. Well, maybe the message didn't get there. <laughs> Thanks for wine. <laughs> or <laughs> or she's again. confirming that, yes, everyone in the town is believing that you're yeah. dead. You know. It. Uh, she also didn't give us any information about who is in power. Well, she point. said still a police state, so presumably... Yeah. 
I think right, she, but did Lady Walker take over and is just no the, better? The no, fact, no, because the, the fact that he says looking, looking for Arena that means that... The oh, they're looking for Arena. Power She's not looking, looking for Arena. Yeah. Okay. So they would have said if they found her. Okay. That's why they're arresting people and it's under, you know, a police day because yeah. they're they're searching basically door to door, it sounds like. At this Things point. getting scary. Okay. Yeah. That, to me, gives red flags that maybe we should go back to the Lockheed. But what are we going to do other than murder the entire government? Which, like, it's an option. whatever. Like, well, Winley so is more in favor rest, of going rest, to the when, temple. When, when my rest is up, I'll have my third level spells back, and we could try and reach out to Lady Wachter and find out what her plans are and see if what we can do I to do aid not that. Trust Lady no. Or if we no. were completely abandoning that line we and could, not helping her, we could, you know. We could tell Vasily. Chi- well, I don't trust Vasily. It's clear he's distraught. I just think that Velaki is pretty much in the same state that Velaki has been right. in. Like, it's no no better, no worse. Yeah. Unless we're planning on going in it, and she like would have literally said, disposing yes. of everybody. Yeah. Sounds to me she like would have, it is getting worse, She would have. Well, she I said mean, things getting scary. But she would have... I mean, she didn't say, get back here now, or... Yeah, I mean, we asked if we needed to come back, and she didn't, like, explicitly say yes. And they do think we're dead, and Which, we like, want we kind of want them to keep thinking we're right. dead, at least for a little while. Right. I still think the temple is the, the better idea my, for right now. Yeah, my only fear with that is they're clearly still looking for Arena. Yeah. How long can they hold out? Can Father Lucian, can the church hold out before... But again, what are we going to do about that, other than killing all of them? That's true. That is true. I mean, we go back and then our ruse is up. They know we're alive. Right. How do we stop them from looking for Arena? Again, short of killing them all. A coup which, d'etat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's a fair point. Um, Let them keep thinking we're dead while we're doing, you know, other, other things stuff. for at least, you know, a day or two. How much worse could it get? Right. Like... Oh, God, why would you say that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we've been gone from there for however many days, days. and... Danica's not saying, yes, get back here immediately, things, so... She, yeah, things getting scary is a bit concerning, but this was sort of... We, we sort of knew that would be an option when yeah. we set political upheaval in motion. Uh, I think if it were, like, truly bad, she would have said, yes, we need you back, not just that it doesn't look great. wouldn't have wasted great. four words on thanks, thanks for, for the wine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it would have been, things getting scary, please come back, or <laughs> yes, we need you, or okay. whatever. Yeah. yeah, I think that's valid. Um, At least now we know the wine shipment got there, I suppose. Hey, yeah, that is true. That is true. <laughs> thanks, Danica. Thanks. It's so helpful. <laughs> Uh, they think you're dead. That's what we want. That's yeah, good. exactly. Like, why? Yeah, you know, harmony's they, in favor. They learned uh, that we were, quote, let her, dead. Let ride. Literally yeah. today. If we can get this, if we can get Ash's memories back at this yeah, temple. So, spooky temple. Sounds good to me. Spooky temple. Winley's in favor of spooky temple. Nap, nap, then spooky temple. Mina suddenly changed her mind and wants to go back. She's like, wait, things are scary there? Go oh, at, at the at the thought at uh, when Winley says murdering the entire government, her ears definitely perk up. <laughs> Wait, really? That's that's what sells this. That's we're, we're called that yeah, Plan yeah, B. Yeah. Mina's an anarchist. No. <laughs> return, return the city to the wild. Exactly. <laughs> Something like no that. gods, no masters. The is still, uh, yeah, still, my, still Mina's stuff. Yeah, I would say Winley's not particularly interested in the politics of Velaki in so far as, like, that's her main goal. I would like, like to ask the people here if there's any way to send other types of communication, you know, more mundane communications. Um, do they have, like, because they, they can turn into ravens, so maybe they could fly a letter somewhere, you know, for us or something, um, if we're willing. Father, Father Dave, or Father, excuse me, uh, Dave, Dave Israel shakes his head. We do occasionally fly between the village, but uh, given the events here recently, I'm afraid we need all hands that are still here to stay. All right. I was hoping that there would be some way for us to get a message to, um, I forgot her name already, uh, uh, Esmeralda, oh. uh, and just say, hey, you know, at some point we're looking, we, we'd like to talk to you. This is where we're currently, you know, uh, hiding out at the, the one vineyard if you could make your way down here or if you could send word the next time you're available or something, you know. But if there's no way to get that message without spells, then We could certainly know. have Adrian deliver that message next time he go, goes into town, but that will be next week. 
Yeah, I don't know if she'd be in town because yeah. she. I think she stays at that tower. So unless he detours. Uh, yeah. I mean, we could at least tell him like, if we're not back by then, yes, please deliver that message. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. If something terrible happens at the temple and we end up stuck there for days and days. Oh, we forgot to ask her when. Where the anyways. We know where Could've we're going. Have. Well, if Ash has any spare spell slots at the end of a day of travel, we could do some sendings. Yeah. yeah. To Esmeralda or to Erwin. Wait, uh, okay, so long rest and temple. Sounds like everyone's up for it. Yeah, that's Winley's vote. Uh, okay. Any other Ash kind of just discussion? stays quiet. No. I think with the information we have, I think Temple's probably the best call. Probably. Maybe we could make some friends amongst the barbarian tribes if we pass their stupid trial. <laughs> kind of doubt that, but you never know. Harmony you loves keep that to make friends. <laughs> okay, so is everybody, everybody taking a long rest before we venture out? Yes. That's the plan. Okay. Uh, let's get an order of watch. Uh, Winley can go first. Okay. She still feels pretty good. I'll stay awake through all the watches, but I probably won't be trusted on a watch alone for a while. Not with a minus seven. Minus six. Yeah, Mina, this one. Mina probably actually sleeps very little because she's at full health, but she's she's also crafti- uh, crafting crossbow bolts the uh, whole long rest. Uh, but you, I can do that as part of a long rest. I just checked in Xanathar's. Um, so, but anyway, I'm happy to go whenever... Is, I guess, what I'm saying. Uh, when they mean a sunny, who's got four? Doc, what's your perception I'll, I'll bonus? Four. I mean, it's like plus one. Or I'll something. take it then. Uh, if you want us both. There, no, to sorry, plus four. For okay, perception. and what's Sunny's perception bonus? Jake? Uh, plus four. Plus four. Yeah, plus five. Okay. Yeah. Harmony's got a plus eight to perception, so she should take a watch. I mean, this isn't where we, we don't think that we're going to be. Yeah, Harmony will take a watch. She can, if someone wants to, like, be on rotation with her, Doc, potentially. Uh, I'm down for watch somewhere in there. It's no big. Or Doc and Sunny could take a watch. I don't know. Harmony will take a watch. Uh, Doc's fine with it, If with taking a watch, if that's what needs to happen. What do you mean? I'm fine. I'm, never mind. So, Winley, then Mina, then Sunny and Harmony, and then Doc. Is that what we're sure. determining? Sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. All right. Well, then, uh, let's go ahead and get our first perception check from Winley. Sure. Perceive. Wow. All right. Definitely nothing happens. <laughs> Winley feels really confident that we're safe for the uh, couple hours, hours that she is keeping watch. That's true. Uh, next up. I believe that's Mina. Mina, you also do not uh, do not find or detect any threats. No, uh, no shaking things of water. Sweet. Uh, then next up, I believe, is Sunny. And Harmony. Yep. Neither of you uh, perceive anything, and finally, Doc. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, are there any input or request or whatever around spells that should be taken before we go to this temple. Uh, if you want to sidebar that in the sure. chat. Um, in the night, uh, though no, no, no uh, events occur, no one attacks, uh, anything like that, uh, Mina, during the brief time that you rest uh, kind of around your shifts and crafting of crash bowls and whatnot, uh, you have a pretty strange dream. Uh, you feel like you are sunny. You are running on all, all fours. You are kind of uh, running running through the woods at call it dog height uh, and find yourself chasing after uh, various game uh, in the woods. Uh, when you awake, you are... Uh, drenched in sweat uh, and feel a little bit weary, but otherwise uh, are are still rested. Sweet. Uh, honestly, may enjoy that type of experience in a dream, but definitely unsettling. So, sure, cool. All right. Uh, that said, everybody is uh, rested by the next morning. Uh, all right. Yeah. Um, as part of, you know, making prefer- preparations to, uh, leave Harmony, like mentioned to Savid, if you're okay staying here for a bit, we're 
We have other business to attend to before venturing back towards Malaki. Okay. Uh, and uh, anything else, Davian or others, you we, we are heading in the direction of this temple you mentioned. Our friend Ash has had visions of some such. Uh, anything you'd... Any specific recommendations you'd have about it? I know you didn't know a ton... I would simply say, be careful. Uh, as, as we discussed, there are many barbarian tribes and the like in the area. Uh, and none, none venture there, at least none that I know. And none, none of the local tribes you are friendly with or have any connections with that we could speak with? No, as I explained before, they yep. are keep to themselves or kill those who come across their path. Great. Cool. Well, luckily we have the best ranger in Barovia, so not a problem. All right. Is anybody doing anything at the winery before you leave? I don't think so. We did the purify last time we were here, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. Otherwise, that wine shipment's going to go real south. Yeah, a little bit. (laughs) Yes, we purified everything before it went out. That's all we did. I just wanted to double check. So it's two stones down. No real lead on the third yet. Yeah. It'll come up, I'm sure. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? Okay. If memory serves, yeah. we didn't even bother doing ritually. We just spent the spell slots because when we rested right away. <laughs> uh, Mina just checks in with Calvani before we leave and just reminds her to be safe and don't go anywhere. Sure. Very uh, very thoughtful. She, of course, tells you to do very, very much the same as far as being safe. <laughs> as far as... But knows immediately that we won't, but... You know. Yeah, anyway, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. You okay. Uh, well then, uh, heading out on the path, at least back to the main road here. Um, where to? Do you want to cut, cut cross country, or do you want to follow the roads that you've seen? Uh, leave it up to the ranger, I suppose. Uh, well, yeah, so I mean, I guess so. this was the barbarian camp. Right. Yeah, right. my theory is that it's the road here. Yeah, exactly that. So I, I, I'm thinking maybe we cut through this little stretch of forest to get over there and then follow that road. That's that's sort of what Mina's thinking, rather than going the long way out, out here. Sure. Okay. Uh, and, and traditional marching order, correct? No yep. reason yeah. to change it. If it ain't broke. Okay. Yep. Uh, well, Ash in the back, though. The new marching order. And we do a little DM rolling. I'm still deciding on the spell. Okay. Uh, and that said, about a, about half an hour after you set off into the woods, you find yourself coming across a familiar path. Uh, again, this road is mostly made up of stones, although various weeds and grass have kind of grown up in the cracks and in between. Uh, and that said, the path seems to be leading uh, uphill to the south. Yeah, well, I mean, Mina suggests that we follow it up into the mountains. Okay. Continuing to follow the road, then. <clears throat> Well, I mean, it looks like, just to get clearer context here, it, like, these are mountains up here. It looks like oh, yeah. it's heading up, you're, you're walking, uphill. You were walking okay. up into mountains. That's what I thought. All right. Does this road look particularly well-traveled? Not at all. He said it was overgrown and stuff, and I think last ah, time I you mentioned that, that. it looked like it hadn't seen much traffic. Thank you. Uh, and it is about midday now. Uh, your traveling has slowed down significantly as you were literally just walking uphill in perpetuity here. You think we to do and that said, as you uh, reach this point of the trail, uh, it begins to snow. Oh. I put on my cold weather gear. And you are, I mean, you also find that as, as you are kind of walking through here that you are already walking over kind of ice and whatnot. Uh, now the trail itself definitely leads up into a, a much colder, snowier area. Yeah, cold weather gear. Yep. Harmony always wears her cold weather gear these days because Barovia is not particularly warm. It's, it's never sunny in Barovia. Yeah, Mina, cold weather <laughs> gear is just like, you know, it's, it's always chilly clothing. in Barovia. There you go. Uh, everybody go ahead and make a uh, athletics track. Get in the bag of holding. Oh. oh I 
great at these. <clears throat> is this like a thing that we could see that we're trying to oh, do? Okay. Like, no, this is just the exhaustion of walking uphill for hours. Okay, sure. sure. Winley's very tired. You cannot have a meet you back. <laughs> uh, Winley, Harmony, and Mina, you are all suffering a level of exhaustion. Great. Um, I would argue that my natural explorer would apply to that. I ignore difficult terrain over... I mean, I'll post it in the chat. <laughs> Can we also just, like, slow down our pace? Uh, I also believe it's uh, for one type of terrain, not all terrain, unless that changed in the un Unearthed Arcana. Yeah, no, I don't have favored terrain anymore, because, oh. yeah, that's nonsense. But I do have... I do give immunity to difficult terrain to the group, uh, and I ignore it in general. I mean, if, if, if there is some kind of a special quality to this hill that's making it happen, that's okay, but... Uh, I mean, this is not so much the, the, the terrain is difficult, i.e. that you're like trying to navigate through the woods or something, so much as you are just, again, walking up several hundred, uh, several hundred feet of elevation every hour. Could we <coughs> slow our pace, or is exhaustion sort of inevitable at this level of climbing? Uh, it's more that you're, you're going through kind of the, the forced march mechanic here. Well, I mean, isn't that voluntary? Though? That's the fact, it's based on the fact you're going uphill. Oh, okay. That's fair. But. Is that an athletics check or a constitution save? Uh, mm -hmm. Constitution save, technically. Okay. So if you want to, if you want to try try to reroll for that, since so they had you do the wrong check, I'd love to. I'm keeping I mine. Thanks. Would I'm keeping mine. Much my prefer thanks. constitution. No. Yeah, that does not give immunity to your entire party. I doesn't did. slow your travel. But. Yeah, I did have to look up. Uh, forced march rules for a session I DM'd recently. Yep. So, so nobody, nobody's failing yet, but you are definitely not having a good time uh, on this walk. We should have gone back to Milwaukee! That is brisk. <laughs> it's a, a brisk day for Ash. Uh, that said, as you round the corner of the mountain here, uh, we find ourselves in a slightly uh, more micro-viewed scene. Ash, can I have a piggyback ride? <laughs> No. Willie's feeling good now. She'll carry you. <laughs> Great. Uh, you should have vision at the bottom of the map. Vision. Yep. I have vision. There you go. Oh, yeah. uh, walking up the uh, the pass here, you kind of come around the bend and find yourself <coughs> faced with a large uh, structure. Pug of War, please. Uh, yeah, how about I finish this part first? Ooh. Was that what I saw in my vision? No. No. Okay. Uh, but there's a large, uh, large wall up uh, uh, up ahead of you with a uh, portcullis placed in it. Uh, what appear to be uh, large statues of either gargoyles or some sort of uh, exotic beasts uh, up at the top, uh, and a curtain of green flame sitting behind the portcullis. Uh, for your reference, uh, it, it, the cliff side to your left is a climb of about 600 feet, and there's about a 500-foot fall into the valley below to your right. Uh, Harmony kind of, like, regards the uh, curtain of green flame behind the park, calls for a moment, and just says, I fucking hate Barovia. <laughs> As do we all. Uh, okay. And those... Are there figures on top of the parapets? Are those... Those are all going to be gargoyles or statues of some variety. Okay. Does this look familiar to Ash? No. He said no. Said no. And I would have told the group that. You take the wrong path. I don't think so. All right, well. Winley will I mean, approach. What are we going to do? Let's I mean, turn around. Check, well, we could check it out. We could. Find some gargoyles. Presumably, there's a way through. We just have to figure it out. Yep. We're at least happy to do whatever the party wants, but since we're here... Might as well check it out. Poke around at least to see what the green fire is. Who set it up? Yeah. It could also be that my vision was from, like, another angle, and so I just didn't well, see... Well, this doesn't appear to be a temple so much as... At least to me, it seems more like a like waypoint or a guard station or a, a pass... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that. Uh, I what was it called? I mean, Solenka, we obviously wouldn't know that. Solenka Pass. I mean, 
Doc will approach just because he's curious about the green flames right. and stuff. Natural. So I'll I'll be the one to trigger this, I guess. Harmony will approach because it looks warmer in there. <laughs> Yeah, yep. Winley, Winley will follow Doc. Right. Well, the shelf of rock on which the mountain road clings grows narrow as you approach. Uh, to your left, the icy cliffs rise sharply towards dark rolling clouds, and to your right, the ground falls away into a sea of fog. Uh, ahead through the wind and snow, uh, as the weather seems to have worsened upon your approach, you do see the high walls of black stone lined with spikes topped by statues of, as you grow closer, what appear to be demonic vultures uh, with horned heads. Uh, set into the wall is the iron portcullis, behind which burns a clear gr- a curtain of green flame, although it seems to be on the other end of the wall. They are not necessarily up against the portcullis. Uh, as you approach Doc, the portcullis, uh, with a loud, screechy groan, uh, rises in place uh, and, and lifts out of the way. Oh, that's not spooky at all. Oh, good job, Doc. Also, demonic vultures... Don't really love uh, that. Harmony's not the best with directions, but we're not, um... We're not headed toward Ravenloft, right? No, that's, like, way... Yeah, yeah I thought so. I thought so. Okay, this just seems Ravenlofty. So. Yeah. Does the green flame remain? Yes. I uh, don't like that. Can I do, like, an arcana check on what that might be? Sure. Um, and in response to Ash's note in the chat, Mina is, like, fire saying that she thinks we should go back. Why? <clears throat> There's a storm approaching, and we're in the mountains. Well, well, the, the storm is already here. It's getting worse, he says. Yeah, Maybe. exactly. Dumb question. To, I mean, is the fire hot? Are you going to go up and touch it? Uh, oh, it would be eminent. I was going to say, yeah. Bit. You're like 60 feet away, right? Okay, I will... Can the party come with me as yeah, I approach so that sure. I don't get shot on the far side of the gate again? Sure, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, approaching, it does seem to be hot. And there's no, like, visible, like, window? Are there windows or anything uh, in the building? Or, like, uh, other means of entry into the structure? No, it's a wall with a gate in it. You can see in the picture. Winley is kind of with Mina. That we, like... I mean, is this interesting? Should we check it out at some point? But we're also, we like, that... actively trying to get Ashes... Right, but how do we know that's back? not past here? Well, I guess we don't. Can like, is there any way that we can do a perimeter of this building? I mean, uh, it's a pass. There's cliff on one side and cl- well, cliff up you know, on one side. Well, you only need about this much space other. to walk, but I mean, presumably it's and it literally, to... literally drops off. Yeah, Done. that's what I was asking. Uh, I mean, the fire. We came this way just literally just because it was a path into some mountains. Like there are a lot of mountain places we could check that could have this temple that are not this clearly barred pathway. I mean, it's not uh, I don't, anymore. I don't think being out here in the middle of a storm is, I think we spent enough time coming up here that we're going to get, get be in the mountains when that storm hits, no matter what we do. If well, we could, yeah, but the longer we stay, if we could I figure mean, out how to turn the fire off, this might be a good place to pass a storm if we need to pass it. Well, so let's, let's make a, a survival check to see if turning around now we could escape the storm or if we're kind of boned already. I just don't understand why we'd want to turn around when this is clearly like either well, guarding something or leading like, to something. Mina doesn't want to die here and we certainly have run into, uh, we've definitely, everywhere we've been chased into by bad weather has exploded or been full of like werewolves or some shit so the chances of finding just like a cozy den beyond this green flame gate uh seems like a long shot to mina so if you're but if you have a plan for dealing with this i fully support it but if it's if we're starting to get pelted with snow then mina is definitely voicing like we should get out of here sooner rather than later but i i agree with you mina but I also fear that it might be too late, that we might have already fallen into the trap of the storm. So do we want to make a check to see if we can determine if we can even get down the mountain safely? Well, I mean, at this point, we just need to follow the road back down. So I agree that we are probably going to get caught in the storm. Uh, does anyone still not have cold weather? Clothing? I mean, it also looks like, like I'm looking at the picture here, it looks like there's like some kind of keep to the kind of overlooking the the pass there if we can get through the flame like if someone prepared to spell magic or something or or something like that we could at least get through and then try to take shelter in that like tower off to the right of that picture yeah so there's not like 
Well, I can yeah, s- yes, people can still die in storms when they're well equipped, but we're on a road and we're not like multiple days. We're we're hours away. We I'm, just, I'm confused why we're not at least making a roll to see, see what the DM might tell us. I don't. What I mean, didn't we a make a survival check or an arcana? I mean, you. Oh, oh. I did an arcana to confirm that the, the fire was in fact I mean, a fire. To determine if it's safe to get out of the storm. Well, I mean, we we have skills for a reason, and people keep on not using them for some reason. It, it, because it's, the it's, it's, it's the it's DM's like job to call for skill rolls. The, 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 the so DM doesn't always have to prompt us for skill rolls. Sometimes no, no, I, I understand that, but just so I'm clear on what's happening, it's like beginning to snow, correct? Yes. He said that it was okay, getting worse. That, I thought. All right, that, that, that to me is not had like already been snowing, but now it was getting worse. That, that's how I took it. It's as it, it started it like it yeah. started snowing about a mile back down the road, and it, you know, you're just kind of walking into an existing snowstorm here. Do I think I can get back to the winery? You're very confident in this storm. Awesome. Then so, yes, I'm with Mina. I think we should go and turn around. As long what? as we're not going to get trapped by snow, I think we should turn around. Why? What did we come up here for? Yeah, I'm that's, confused. that's what I'm saying. We came up here to find. We came up here to see if the Temple from Ashes vision was here. It's not. There's a what, weird... What do you mean it's not? Flame. There's a road past the flame. I can see it on the well, map. Well, but there's somewhat, like, this... If this was just a ruined, crumbling wall, then by all means, let's continue past it. But someone is trying to prevent passage. No, they're not. Again, they opened the Harmony, gate for if us. If you have a plan, by all means, let's do it. But is there, is there any sign that the barbarians might have passed through this way? Uh, make perception check. Because if, if there was any sign that the barbarians pass this way, then then that would be a good clue to know that this is probably the temple, that this is probably the right place. You don't see any, uh, any evidence that the barbarians have been through here, but the road, uh, other than where you're walking, is covered in snow, so it's very difficult to determine. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm just saying we've, like, knocked on a lot of doors and gotten fucked over for that like random but yeah dispel it if someone can dispel it do it is there any general sense of creepiness around this place or is it just it is as, I mean, as ominous as flame and weird okay. Uh, okay. raven you know gargoyles and stuff i'd say it's pretty creepy well yeah but sometimes you like you get a feeling you know um i mean when they can try to dispel it if that's what we want uh i mean if you wanted, well, you we, could also burn we, a uh, detect magic to make sure it's a magical fire first. I could also There's do There's also the portcullis, though, right? The portcullis is down. Two. In the no, it raised down. when we walked up. Oh, I missed that part. Sorry. How uh, thick is the flame? Uh, about a foot. So we could theoretically I, just run through it. I throw a it's, rock through the flame. It looks like a spooky fire. fire well, sure, I'm just saying. The rock goes through the fire. I mean, you and I have misty stuff. Winley's gonna toss a rock into the flame and see what happens. Ash already did that. Already did literally that. just happened. Okay. Uh, spend a moment. I'll just chucking rock after rock after rock through the flame. <laughs> Rocks go over. Keep keeps going right through the flame. Was your Arcana check? Did you seem to think it was magical? I know that's it's not a, a detect magic spell. It's a fire. I mean, and, it's green. And so. presumably, there's no like gap between it and the ceiling of this. No, it is filling filling the uh, the corridor. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good luck with that, Ash. I and see. presumably, you there's not an that obvious. That. So my only thought, other than potentially just throwing a dispel magic at it, Winley, is is the outside of this building. Does it appear scalable? Not really. Uh, it is made up of of stacked stone, essentially, uh, okay. much like a castle wall or the keep right. walls of Argenvastel. Right. Probably. How, how tall is it? Like how many floors? Uh, about thirty feet. Okay. Okay, I mean, call some misty step up. I'm sorry, I'm like going feet. Okay. Misty step or climb. climb. Yeah. I mean, my athletics check is shit, but well, I can mild shape into something with a climb speed. Sure, but you might want to keep. Those yeah, but I would rather misty step if it were. Yeah, 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 absolutely. But we could just misty step through the flame. Somebody could misty step through the flame and try to find a can way to turn we it see off. See through the flame. Yes. Okay. Okay. What's past it? I mean, I can see the road, but like you anything can, else, you can know? see the road and what looks to be the tower behind the keep. Seems like a good place to hole up in if we're worried about the Literally storm. what I said. Yeah. <laughs> okay, could one of you Misty step up there and, you know, drop a rope? A sure. Hook, a grappling hook and rope. 
uh, yeah. and put this up there, and then we can use that to all get over this wall. Winley sure. is happy to do that. She will use her misty oh. step to the top of the wall. Okay. Be careful up there. Uh, just referencing the picture of the wall, what part are you misty stepping up Yeah, on give to? me a sec. Let me look at it again. Like the left, I'm thinking, how, um, maybe the left side near the... Yeah, yeah, the, I'm, I'm yeah the, the left there, side so. of the gate nearer to the mountain. Okay, it is covered in spikes. Oh, well, don't misty step up. So, are, are they... Well, I, sure, but like... Yeah. By covered in, what do you mean by spikes? Can you not stand around them? Look at the picture. They're, they're covered in spikes. Well, right, but there's clearly yeah, but like, like a section with a gargoyle like on top of it. Can I you, between them, you would have to just... say somebody docks side <laughs> might be able to squeeze between them, but you will have to climb over them if okay. you're going on that side. Uh, why just not wanna... just right above the gatehouse? Uh, yeah, I just want to get to a spot where I can stand Okay. and toss a rope down. Okay, so do you want to go on that left side, on this side or the far side of the spikes, or do you want to go in the center? Or I'll go in the center, right between the two gargoyles. If you wake them up, we'll fight them. Uh, Winley, you're gonna you're gonna poof over onto the the side here. Okay. Poof. Um, and then once I'm up there, I will toss a rope down okay. for whoever else wants to come up. Winley, make a perception check. Sure, I'm pretty good at those. So she said, rolling a one. Oh, I don't think so. I do. I uh, mean, because I said it. Yeah, exactly. It will not be terrible. No. See. Uh, yeah, that's fine. As you are fumbling with your rope, uh, you hear a slight grinding sound. Yeah. Uh, and looking to the side, you see that the statues of the demons are beginning to move. Roll initiative. That's. Oh, I said, Winley immediately jumps down and starts running. No, 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 no. Initiative, everyone. Please. Yep. Well, that's fair enough. I mean, that tracks that Winley would probably go first. <laughs> Oh, wow. So did Winley just beat herself off the top of the, the I gate? mean... <laughs> well, I'm gonna go. If it's only 20 feet high, I might eat that damage. I mean, I have slow fall if you want. Or fall if <laughs> yeah. You want it. <laughs> Mainly what I don't want is to be trapped on top of this gate with two demon vultures flanking me. Yeah, it's just like Dark Souls. I would say I was definitely getting Dark Souls flashbacks to the Bell Gargoyles. You mean Elder Tales, you get a cool weapon. And Harmony, do we have a... Yeah, you should. I got oh, a six. Their tokens are extra crazy. I don't see a roll from you. I see, I see your initiative. I don't see your uh, gift. Oh, I didn't cast it yet. Oh, well then, no no gift for you. Nope. Winley, you have the initiative. Um, As she's fumbling with the rope and seeing these things come to life, Winley promptly uh, notes out and wants to, like, climb, slide, fall down this wall in such a manner that she doesn't, like, break her legs. Oh. But, like, as quickly as possible. Uh, make an acrobatic strike. Sure. I'll give myself oh. guidance on Which that as well. Side? You can spend your action climbing down, or you can cast guidance, but you can't do both. Fine, I'll climb. Athletics, you said? Athletics or acrobatics. We'll go acrobatics. And if I fall and take damage, like, that's what I want to happen. I want to get to the bottom of this. Regardless. Yeah, exactly. Okay. You are able to uh, kind of clamber down, practically falling, but somehow not actually falling. And then immediately just, like, yelling at the party, like, nope, let's get out of here. Okay. And we'll, I say that's probably my entire move, but yep. we'll, we'll make to start running down the, the trail that we came from. All right. Sonny. Uh, well, I can't, uh, I can't see them, uh, can I, can, they're right there, okay, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, Sunny is just gonna step up here and, uh, ready in action to attack if anything gets, actually, he'll stay right in front of Mina there, uh, ready in action to attack if anything lands is what he's worried about. Uh, next to them, uh, and yeah, he's just gonna growl and bark really viciously up in their direction. And I'll make I'll make an intimidate check for him just because that'll be his actual action. Even though he is not great at intimidate checks, stay away. All right, well, could have been worse. Uh, and that's it for Sunny. All right. Uh, next up then is Mina. And then Mina will. Uh, Okay, so you say rock statues. Uh, so one of my favorite enemies is fiends. Mm -hmm. Is that like triggering off of these things or? Sure is. Oh, yikes. Uh, well, 
<laughs> they haven't gone yet, so miraculously. So I still get advantage uh, to shoot them. So Mina will take a couple shots at this one okay. with a couple of her brand new homemade crossbow bolts. Uh, sharpshooter and I don't see dot in the mission. Does a fourteen hit? Uh, 14 does not hit. Oof, that is not what I wanted to hear, but uh, we'll try a second time. Bonus action. Uh, 21. Uh, that does hit. Okay, well, enjoy 24 damage, and then, yeah, that's it for me now. Okay. Uh, the next up is going to be Harmony. Uh, and these things are, like, visibly moving? Yep. Okay. How far away from us are they? Yeah, they I are twenty feet above you. I'm aware it ain't clear. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, Harmony is going to. Mm-hmm. Well, let's start things off a little low key. Uh, um. Okay, yeah, she's gonna. Uh, uh. The one closer to her, so I guess the one up here, is going to get a vicious mockery. Okay. It does not seem particularly affected. Ah! But hard, hard to tell what what demons are affected by these days. Uh, and harmony, in the interest of not being chased by a demon statue into a snowstorm, is going to duck in here at the moment. Hopefully. The heat from the flame isn't, like, super oppressive, is it? Uh, it's pretty hot inside the gateway. Ooh! Okay. Pleas- a pleasant change from the freezing yes. uh, storm outside, but still hot. Uh, I have resistance. To that. That's what that true. Is. <coughs> <coughs> okay, Harmony will duck in here, and that'll be her turn. Uh, yeah. That'll okay. be her turn. Uh, one of them lets out a ear-piercing screech. Uh, everybody except for Mina and, and Sunny make a constitution save. Except for Mina and Sunny. They're farther back. Oh. But they're just deaf. Uh, Ash and uh, Doc, you are stunned awesome. until the beginning of their next turn. Uh, and then one of them, the one that uh, Harmony just mocked, uh, flies down uh, to the bottom, bottom of the tower here and lashes out at uh, Ash with Talons and Beak. Ooh, striking Ash for a separate 9 and 13 damage. And there it is Doc's turn. Um, refresh my memory, what does Stunned do? You can't do anything. Okay, so I guess I don't do anything then. Yep. Uh, you are incapacitated, can't move, can't speak. Uh, you automatically fail strength and dex saving throws and attack rolls against you uh, have advantage. Cool, cool, cool. All right, uh, Ash. Yeah, do anything. Yep, Winley. Um. Um. Uh, Winley is going to cast Call Lightning. Is this snowy storm full of lightning? No. Okay. <laughs> just thought I check. It's the Romeo, you never you know. know. <laughs> <laughs> just checking. Um, and actually, can I move before I cast that? Yeah, Willie's going to take a couple of steps back this way just to turn around and see them a little better. I'll cast it kind of in the mid- between the two of them, so it should hit them both because it's within 10 feet, I think. Nope. One jumped down, and I don't think the other has yet. Oh, well, okay, hold on. Yeah, one's still up on the tower, and the other one on the right has come down to the ground level. Oh, my vision is doing something funky. Oh, hey, look, there's a token. All right, I'll, I'll cast it over here so it hits um, that thing and not okay. my friends. Okay. Much of that just failed its save, so. So, 11 lightning damage. Smack. Not a great roll, but that's okay. Okay. Anything else, Wendley? Um, I will use bonus action to go into my archer form and shoot him. Okay. 16 to hit? Uh, that is a hit. 7 radiant damage. Alright. Sunny. Uh, Sunny is going to double move. It's double checking. Yeah, 45. That's a real bummer, but takes him a double move to get adjacent to the 
Brock thing. Uh, and that's it for Sunny. Okay. And then on her turn, Mina is going to surprise, surprise, shoot at it. Is it just these two? Yes. So these, these two so far. So the far, other sure. also, the other gargoyles um, aren't moving. No. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I'll bonus action hunters mark this guy. Okay. And uh, sorry, this sorry, one. the one on the right or the left? I missed the thing. <laughs> uh, the one. I'm sorry, the one on the right, the one that's down on the ground. Okay. Um. That seems like the one that maybe we want to try to focus on. I don't know. Uh, and then taking a single sharpshooter shot at that, uh, which is right here. Oof. Well, Unfortun too bad. Unfortunately, uh, sips fast. Yep. And coordinated strike bite from Sunny, and then that'll be it for me. Okay. Hmm. Wait, is anybody next to it? Uh, Ash is. Ash is. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Ash. Ugh, wasn't enough, though. Too bad. Okay. That's it. All right, Harmony. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, let's see here. Oh, that one was attacking Ash, and the other one's on top. Uh, Harmony is going to Vicious Mockery this one, uh, the one on the ground. Okay. Uh, ugh, even more hideous up close. Who made you? <clears throat> uh, seems quite resilient to the mockery. Fucking still <clears throat> counting for taste. Uh, and harmony will um, uh, throw a bardic inspiration dox way. See something along the lines of uh, you gnomes are crafty, right? We need some <laughs> dismantling here. Yep. Take them apart. Etc. Are they still like made out of stone? They right? seem they, stone like, like but okay. they're definitely moving like living things. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. And uh, Harmony will, would if, if she moved out of, the, she's technically adjacent to it, but around the corner, would that provoke an attack of opportunity if she moved? No. Okay. And she's gonna. I'm a little nervous about getting closer to the cliff. Yeah, Harmony's gonna edge right back, anyway. stay in the nice warm mm -hmm. gatehouse. That's That'll be it for Harmony. Okay. Uh, with that, the one next to the uh, gatehouse lets out a shriek similarly to the one that was on the roof. Uh, everybody who's over there, yeah, other yeah. than Mina, uh, make a constitution save. Okay, hopefully these are long re uh, yeah. low odd recharge. Oof. Oh. Hmm. Wow. All right. Uh, Harmony and Winley, you find yourself stunned uh, as your ears practically bleed at the, the shrieking sound. Uh, and that said, the one on top of the gatehouse lets out a, a different kind of screech, uh, and a red uh, red circle appears in the uh, snow right in front of you, Mina. Uh, and a moment later, uh, eight dretches appear, uh, claw clawing out of the, uh, the earth uh, before you. Uh, and then with that, it is Doc's turn. Yikes. Um, okay. I'm going to start punching the gargoyle, I guess. Punch it. Do it. That's a crit. Sure is. Right in the yam bag. Or whatever the rock statue equivalent of the yam bag is. Uh, two, two very solid punches. Sweet. You don't have any temp HP. Ash, you are stunned. Winley. I am also stunned, but it doesn't say that you can't take bonus actions. Yeah, about that. Incapacitated? What or is incapacitated. The... Incapacitated says you can't take actions or reactions. It does not say you can't take bonus actions. Uh, actions is... A... Hmm. Yeah, that's why I'm asking. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> we're going to have to go, go to the rules lobby. That's a fair question. I was say, if I can bonus action, I can at least still it's shoot at it. It's a bonus <laughs> action. I'd argue that reactions are also covered under actions. Yeah, well, exactly. Why would it specifically you know, say? Uh, page 189 of the Player's Handbook. Anything that deprives you of your ability to take actions also prevents you from taking a bonus action. Okay. Uh, damn it. I do nothing then. All right. Good hustle, though. Obviously. Sorry. <laughs> 
Okay. Um, well, Sunny noticing that Mina could probably use a hand. Uh, and he still hasn't taken any heat yet, so might be willing to risk an opportunity attack. Yeah, let's go. Uh, yeah, go help her out. Be a good boy. He's going to eat an opportunity attack from the Brock. Okay, let's see if it gets anything. Uh, it misses him by an inch. But it does get an opportunity attack from me for Sentinel. Sweet. Uh, and he's going to run back to that uh, stretch that he ended up by there. Mm, actually, uh, 10, 20... Yeah, he'll end up right there. Uh, and he's going to bite it. Does a 13 hit a dretch? You would hope so. Uh, let me double check. Yeah, you really hope so. You dare to dream? Uh, it sure does. Okay, well then that, that one right there takes 12 damage. Okay. And might get dragged to the ground. Well, let's see how that goes. Uh, it is dragged. Cool, and Mina is going to shoot this one in the face, the one right next to her. Sharpshooter, to be clear. Um, although she is bummed to be forced not to attack her hunter's mark. You gotta do what you gotta do. Um, oof. Tried. Tried. Uh, yeah, uh, second one on that same guy. Uh, second one hits, and okay, cool. promptly dumps dumps it uh, into the snow, where it just kind of dissolves into goo. Wonderful. I'll go ahead and make my coordinated strike bite with Sunny uh, on the one that's right next to him, so he has that advantage because it's pulled to the ground. So ten more damage to that one. Uh, that one is ripped to pieces and kind of fall, falls apart under Sunny's uh, vicious shaking. Okay, and then Mina is just kind of like book it into the snow this is like a cliffside right here right correct all right well then i can't go too far off the path at all Oops, didn't mean to ping 10 she's just gonna make it down there and then uh that's my turn all right sorry right. yeah Dunned. yep uh, the one next to Doc and Ash uh, kind of lets out a, uh, a kind of violent shake, and the air is filled with uh, some sort of cloud. Uh, everybody except uh, who's over there except for Winley make a con save. Mm. A lot of con saves. Goddamn. They are demons. I mean, actually, yeah. the devils technically. I thought they were statues. <laughs> oh shit! Didn't we all? Nope. Uh, and Ash, you should have uh, advantage against this. Oh, good. Oh, okay. Poison or something, I assume? Yep. Oof, so close. Uh, Ash and Doc, uh, you find yourselves having a coughing fit uh, as something seeps into your lungs. You take nine damage. Uh, and then the one up on top of the tower... Uh, drops down uh, behind Ash and Doc. Oh, yeah. Love and this. snaps at each of you respectively. Um, the snap goes over Ash's head, but Doc, you are hit in the back by Talons for 11. Okay. Uh, and then with that, it is Doc's turn. Uh, yeah, All right, well, so anyway, I started swinging. Um, so two attacks. First one will be on the one on the left. Misses, I take it? Uh, yeah. Um, and the one on the right. Hits, I take it. It does. <clears throat> and uh, defensive field for my bonus action, and I'm done. Okay, Ash. Um, so I'm not paralyzed this round? You are not paralyzed this round. Yay. You can do something. Alright, um... I am going to try and do a Sacred Flame on the one the Doc's been punching. And... 
It uh, lets out a shriek of surprise as you catch it in holy fire. Awesome. Yeah. That's me. Okay. Lindley. Um, I'll call down some lightning in between these four fellas down here. So that should hit all four of them. Oh, I forgot to add their new shift the order, so let me fix that while we're here. Love being able to call in the Winley airstrike. Yep. A uh, whole lot of fails. Um, so you were at, you were hitting the, the middle four there. Yeah, these four. They are all gooified by lightning. Beautiful. We love that. Um, and then feeling like that was sufficient help for Sunny, she'll turn back and Archer attack uh, the one on the right. Thirteen. Uh, that is not a hit. Okay. Um, and then she will also move. Um, this direction to about there. Okay. Sunny. Well, Sunny was definitely gearing up to face down the horde of the Dretch, uh, and then they all explode in front of him. Uh, so he will run... Uh, he's going to circle around the lower one to end up about there. Uh, he went. He went around the outside there to avoid opportunity attacks, uh, and he's gonna bite it. Uh, I'm sorry. Where Where did he go around the outside? He was. Uh, he went this around this way. That is a so, cliff. Oh, oh, I see. I'm sorry. Well, then, in that case, yeah, that was my bad. Um, he will. I think he can still do it. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. 35, yeah. All right. Um, just has to kind of weave in between them there and bites at that guy right next to him. That's a hit. There you go. Let's see how that strength save goes. Makes the strength save, but nasty bite out of the dredge. All right. And that's, uh, that's sunny. Okay. Uh, the dretches seem to be kind of slow and hobbly little things uh, as far as their, their movement, but this one uh, kind of waddles over to Sunny uh, and is attempting to uh, push him. Uh, which Not is... off the cliff, oh, Sunny, no! no! Uh, opposed athletics check. Um, I'm going to give the dretch a uh, minus six on this. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Okay. Uh, Sunny, Sunny pushes back viciously and uh, is not even moved an inch. He's uh, the muscle of the party, let's face it. There's not much muscle in this party. It's so really it's unfortunate. That tracks. <laughs> Breaking uh, through stone walls and yeah, that's great. With that, the other dredge next to him uh, bites and claws at him. Ooh, uh, and does land uh, both, dealing six and five damage respectively. And then it is yeah. Mina's turn. Uh, well, trusting Sonny to handle himself, although maybe shouting a reminder like, stay away from the cliffside or something like that, uh, but Mina is going to keep shooting at the Hunter's Marked uh, Brock up there. Uh, so here's a sharpshooter. Uh, no, I don't have advantage on that, unfortunately. Okay, but a 21 should hit. Solid shot, and I'm sorry, on who, on which one? Uh, sorry, the Hunter's Marked okay. one on the, the east. Yep. Uh, so then he's going to take a total of 29. Oof. Looking, looking real messed up by that. It's kind of stumbling a little bit. Uh, all right, and we'll take the second one on that guy as well, the bonus action. Uh, let's see, 16? That's it. All right, so another die six with Hunter's Mark. So a total of 23 damage on that second shot. The second bolt uh, hits it hits it in the head and it tumbles back off of the cliff. That's what I like to hear. And then move action, Mina will close in, uh, get up kind of near Sunny there. Uh, and uh, Oh, and Sunny gets his coordinated strike on the, we'll go with the dredge that's right here, the western most dredge. Uh... There you go. Fuck you, Dretch. Uh, bites it and doesn't pull it to the ground, but it's hurting. Okay. Uh, yeah, and that's it for me. Okay. Harmony, make a constitution save. Uh, 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You. Uh, what's I you? succeeded. Yeah, you succeeded. No, so disregard. Okay. Disregard. <laughs> I will be. Uh, okay. Um, Harmony will is not pleased by the presence of the large, creepy thing. Brox, are they demons or devils? They are devils. Hmm. Fiend. Uncle Vrocky? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Harmony briefly considers the possibility of some distant relation. Uh, and then will... Uh, she's going to cast Dissonant Whispers on this thing. So. Ooh, uh, needs to make a wisdom save. Uh, it lets out a loud shriek uh, back at Harmony. So it does. So it succeeds. Yep. Okay. Then it takes half that damage and doesn't have to go anywhere. Okay. Uh, Doc, you still have Baric Inspo, I, sure I think. Uh, so yeah, that would have been a good thing to use on that contract. Well, well <laughs> you can lead a horse to water. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. And uh, not saying you're wrong, but ouch. Uh, Harmony will. Um, let's see. Since Ash is right there, Harmony will. Uh, uh, kind of, we'll throw a bardic inspiration uh, um, Ash's way as well. Bonus action. And she is not going to move because presumably this one could hit her with an attack of opportunity. Presumably could. Uh, so she will kind of hunker by the wall and hope it focuses on her more heavily armored compatriots. Oh. Alright. And uh, it lashes out at uh, Ash and Doc once more. For the attack on Ash, I get my attack opportunity. It's a hit. Tighten the am bag. Uh, and that said, it hits each of you. Uh, Ash, you take six from its talons. Doc, you take nine as it snaps at you uh, with its sharp beak. And when then with that, it is Doc's turn. Okay. So anyway, I kept on punching. 16 hits, yes? Yep. Does a 15 hit? Yep. Cool. Punching away, Doc. Also make a constitution save. Ah, yes. You have bardic inspiration. I'm aware. Better minded. Are you aware? Uh, you kind of cough violently, uh, but nothing nothing happens. Cool, 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 cool. Anything else, Doc? Uh, no, that'd be it. All right, Ash, make a constitution save. I'm assuming still with advantage. Yep. Uh, you have Bardic... Yeah. Well, I don't know if you can even... I mean, might as well roll it. Yeah, you might as well roll it. I forget that I have that ability. So, yeah, throw a D8 at it if you want. Does a 12 make it? It does not. Uh, you feel what where uh, the, the space where you're pretty sure your lungs are burning, uh, and you take 5 damage. But who needs lungs? Awesome. Not the reborn. Um, <laughs> I am going to cast Cure Wounds at 3rd level on brain. The player. Or second level, rather. As your lungs slowly dissolve. <laughs> Add four to that. Right. Okay. Um, so, 18? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. Anything else, Ash? <laughs> no, nah, that's me. All right. Really. I will call down some lightning on the... Stupid vulture creature. Precisely and carefully to avoid. Yes, yeah, so over here to the left, so okay. as not to okay. singe any of my friends. Yeah. Uh, it jerks aside as the lightning claps down. Bitch. Does it take half, or does it just miss? Uh, let me double check. Half. Okay. Anything else? With yep, I'll shoot at it with a bonus action. And it will take seven radiant damage. Okay. 
And anything else? Nope. Sunny. All right. Sunny is going to back away from the cliff. Uh, yeah, but he'd like to do it without taking an attack, uh, an attack of opportunity. Excuse me. Uh, so he'll bite the easternmost dredge first. See if he can deal with him. Okay. And I said something. I was too okay. confident. So too confident. Ten. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, yeah, just because he doesn't exactly want to die by tumbling off a thousand foot cliff, uh, he'll risk the uh, opportunity attack to circle around there. Okay. It claws at him, but misses. All right. Uh, and yeah, that's it for Sunny. Okay. Uh, the dretch kind of almost lazily and thumpily uh, kind of chases after him. Um, and having done so, uh, they both bite and claw at Sunny. Uh, Sunny takes one bite for ten, uh, one claw for six, and another bite for four, and another claw for six. They all hit. <laughs> uh, and with that, it is Mina's turn. <clears throat> all right, well, that was a little bit of a beating for Sunny, but he'll, uh, he'll be all right. Uh, Mina's going to refocus her attention on... This rock, and by that I mean she's going to put her Hunter's Mark on that guy, so that's a bonus action. Uh, and then Sharpshooter uh, at said rock. Uh, oh, but it really, it really just goes flying. Uh, you kill that wall. Sunny, <laughs> yeah, it happens. Uh, Sunny will coordinated strike this one, the one south of him. Okay. Oof, nope. man. No luck. They're just not feeling it this round. <laughs> That's uh, it. Alright, Harmony. Uh, okay. Harmony is somewhat annoyed by this thing's persistence. Uh, how's it looking in terms of, like, is it looking pretty ragged or still... Hard to tell. It still looks like it's made out of stone. That's true. Okay, well... We'll try another Dissonant Whispers. It can't keep succeeding on these saves, except it probably can. I just want the Wombo combo. Okay. Hard to sell, to sell how effective it is, but uh, it left out a, an irritated shriek. Well, it needs to take, if it, if it is affected, it needs to take its reaction to move away from me. And it does indeed do so. Okay. Neat. Uh, so one one attack of opportunity uh, reaction from Ash. If you want to. Might as well, I guess. I think you can throw Bardic Inspo on that. Yeah. Do you also get an attack of opportunity on it? I, I guess technically. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, you do hit it, Ash. Uh, As did Doc, so Doc actually stops it. Yep. yep. It's hence the Wombo combo. Oh, wow! I do enjoy the Wombo. Harmony oh, getting that crit. Oh, better believe it, baby. I rolled a one for my oh, damage. Well, that's fair. The the least exciting damage, but otherwise. Alright, uh, and that's that said, Doc, you stopped it as it attempted to flee. Yep, sweep the leg, man. Yep. <laughs> uh, it wheels around uh, quite, quite furiously and uh, yeah. snaps and bites at Doc. Yeah. So does that mean you stop its movement entirely, or in the square where it would have vacated? I'm not sure how that's phrased, actually. I stop it, but in, in the place where it's leaving. Okay. The trigger, so uh, then, uh, if it's all right, uh, I will. He will nudge over to <laughs> be next to Ash and Doc. <laughs> as okay. Uh, and Doc, you take uh, eight as its uh, talons claw into your armor, and then it's your turn. Uh, to make... Uh, no, actually, you're fine. Sorry. I was going to say, I passed it on the last turn. You I saw you, the icons down there. I was like, oh, that's yeah. probably not good. <laughs> and, uh... You probably should have saved that bard against Bo. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, well. It's not like I did a lot of damage. But you hit. And that's something to Is celebrate. It? Okay, so I want to pivot over here. Actually, no, I'm going to stay here so that if it tries to run over to, like, Winley or something, it takes another attack of opportunity. So, never mind. I'm just going to keep 
keep on punching and missing, apparently. Oh, yep. Damn. Fucking hell. Wow. Uh, you find yourself suddenly with jazz hands instead of fisticuffs. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> and uh, do a defensive field just because as well. Okay. Ash, make a constitution save. Make me. He I mean, is. He is. He's the DM. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, you manage to uh, remember what coughing is and uh, force force whatever it is out of your lungs. Is that what it was? Just <laughs> Ash forgot how to cough as part of well, the I, I don't Well, breathe, she doesn't breathe so. anymore, so... <laughs> Something was just burning my lungs, and I'm sitting there like, why Why is this doing this? Oh, yeah, I can cough. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, I'm going to sacred flame, and I'm going to take a step back as well, so I'm going to move real fast. Step back. Into the safety of the gatehouse and sacred flame. I was actually before I do sacred flame. Anyone hurting real bad, Doc? Do you need another heal? Um, no, I'm okay for now. Oh, right. Sonny's a bit beat up, but it, I'm yeah. nowhere near Sonny. I could do a whisper, maybe. Yeah. Uh, All right, sacred flame. Uh, you coat it in holy fire, and it collapses. Huzzah! Huzzah. Huzzah. Anything else, Ash? Seeing as how that is, is dead, then I will. Uh, so that was a five foot. I'm just gonna twenty foot it down here, so I'm closer to Sunny and them. And still, that'll be it. Are we still in right. the initiative. Oh wait, it's still Windley. a match. Well, that thing died. So cool. I will call down some lightning. There's no way I can put it like over here and hit both of them and not Sunny. No. All right. I'll uh, hit this uppermost one then with some lightning. Overkill. What's overkill? Yeah, fuck it. Uh, it pops. And then... Clap of thunder. I'll shoot the other one with an archer arrow. Potentially... Seven radiant damage. Alright. Uh, and that one uh, flops over at, uh, at your shot. Anyway, I'd rather not brave the, the green f- flame, so if I've been over is now an option, let's, uh, let's do that would be my vote. Are the flames still there now that we killed the Brox? Uh, yes, they are. And none of the other statues on the 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 port, the whatever it is, watched it. The, the place seemed moving. No, none of them came to life. Okay. Harvey will kind of like call out once it's clear the rocks are dead and say, Hey, Biggin, you didn't happen to leave a rope up there, did you? I did say that I attached a rope, so... But did you then... finish doing it before the rocks woke up and attacked? DM ruling. I said I attached it, and then when they yep. came to life, I jumped down. So yep. I, I already said yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, so is it hanging there, or did she not like knock it over? Because I could potentially mage hand it uh, down. It is still hanging there. Yeah. Great. Just, yeah. Winley will climb up the rope. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make an athletics check. You let us know if any more of the decorations start moving. Sure. I'll give myself guidance on this. Don't need it. <laughs> you sure did. I'm pretty sure every time I say I'm going to give myself guidance, I roll a nat 20. <laughs> you yeah, should say it more often. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, often. it, it <laughs> seems like there's a clear oak. <laughs> the guidance was in the d20 all along. Uh, you were able to climb up to the top of the gatehouse without any difficulty. Well, I'm going to just double check, make sure the rope is attached securely. Um, and then look for a way to kind of clamber along and, and jump down on the other side of the flame. Okay. Uh, I mean, the, the I mean wall... maybe set a rope going back down on the other side, if we have one available. Like on the other side of the flame? Yeah. Yeah. That sure. Way we have, I, I have like, multiple rows. Presumably we want to come back, and presumably yeah. in such time we will not want to also rape the flame again. Um, if Sunny has any issues, Winley can just carry them, if necessary. Like, on her shoulders or whatever. But. I mean, I guess that's what I was asking, is if that is, like, if that, if that would be possible. To, uh, like, like, to carry a wolf. Yeah. I, I would say at, at disadvantage. Even though I wouldn't be encumbered, because I'm very strong. I want, you to, I want you to imagine climbing a rope with a dog yeah. laying on top of you. <laughs> like, are you putting Sunny in the bag of holding? Put him in the bag of holding with his head sticking out, and we'll carry him on the wall that way. Or just tell him to hold his breath. 
Sonny, Sonny would probably cozy up in the bag of holding for a minute, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm thinking like those dog backpacks where they're like all squished in but their heads are out. <laughs> a bag of okay, holding. I'm, I'm up for it. That is also right, an Lindley, option. Lindley will come back down and get Sonny. Okay. Can I trouble you for a guidance since I need yeah. the hell the help I can get with this? Yep, have, have a guidance and then I'll roll for myself to climb back up. With Sunny. Actually, would you mind standing at the base of the rope and guidancing yep. us all yep. as we go up? Lindley <laughs> comes back down, loads Sunny into the bag of holding with his cute little wolfy well, hat. Maybe load out. him after so he has a full supply of air. No, I'm leaving his head out. <laughs> are, are you allowed to do that? Do you have to? I don't know. Be, I, don't know. There, I think he can stay in there for what, 10 minutes? He doesn't. Yeah, yeah he doesn't actually need, Okay, still five. I mean, he doesn't actually need to have his head sticking out. <laughs> it's just That's a better visual. <laughs> I, exactly. I, I I definitely appreciate it on that level. Uh, I'll take the Harmony. I'll take the the guidance next. If yeah. So Lindley okay, re- really quick. Winley is going to before coming back down. Make sure there is a second rope attached on the far side of the flame. Do I need to roll do you, for that? Do you have two <laughs> ropes? Yes. We, we have do. like five or ten different we have ropes. Plenty of rope. Yeah. Huh. We have lots of rope. Oh, yeah. make a dexterity check. Okay, dex check with guidance to attach a rope. Okay, uh, you feel like you are successful in tying up a rope. Okay, then I will come back down over here to the first floor and guide anyone who needs it up the rope. Okay, uh, we'll hey. dock with the already rolled athletics and guidance. You're able to climb. Ash, you are surprisingly able to do so without uh, any need for assistance. Uh, let me go down first, because um, I have feather fall. No, I'm already down. I rolled twice. Uh, Harmony is able to climb without any issue. Uh, Mina, you're, you're struggling a little bit there. Um... Can I give Mina the help action by, like, you know, giving her a, a hand basket to step you, into or you something? You can give her guidance or you can give her help, but not both at the same but time. Why? Because you are using an action to cast guidance or you are using the help action. <clears throat> guidance lasts for like a minute. Give me, a give me guidance. I, I can cast guidance and then wait until my next turn six seconds later and then give the help action. I don't like it, but you are technically correct, which is the best kind of correct. (laughs) (laughs) Throw that again, Uh, Nina, (laughs) and add a guidance if you need it. Okay, there we go. All right. Uh, Mina gets a little boost from Winley, uh, just just steps up on her shoulder and then uh, is able to get up over it without any further difficulty. All right. Is everyone up now? I've already gone down the other side. Smart for the cleric to go off by himself. Excellent yeah. work. Yeah, I'll um, go. I'll go next. Let me roll it. But there's there's no one else on this side. No. Correct. Okay. Now I'm gonna load Sunny up and roll to get us over. Guidance for myself. Fourteen. You are able to climb over. Cool. And then I will take a second and remove the rope. Um since we're already up here, and then I don't know where the rest of the party came down, but then I'll follow them down. You said you tied your rope on the other side, so... Well, yeah, but I don't know, like, I don't know where you guys went, just onto the other side of the fire? Uh, yeah, I assumed it was just okay. dropped off that cable. I'm looking over the edge right now, but... Okay, uh, before she comes down, Winley will ask the party, should I leave this rope in case we need to get out of here quickly? Yes. Yeah. Okay, then she'll leave uh, that rope attached and climb down. Is it an athletics check to climb down, or could I sub in acrobatics instead? You, you do not need a check to climb down. Uh, oh, great. Oh, well, I did anyway. That's, that's b- border, borderline effortless. <laughs> great. And then Winley will let Sonny out of the bag and give him some head scratches for being the goodest boy. Okay. Uh, well, on the far side of the wall here and on the flames, which still kind of crackle hotly behind you as you climb down... Uh, there is a tower here uh, that appears to be about 15 feet high or so, uh, off to, or sorry, not 15, 30 feet high or so, uh, looking over the pass below you, as well as the road uh, continues on towards what appears to be a bridge over a chasm in the distance. How's the weather looking? Shitty. Great. Uh, does Ash, anybody does any of this, sh- uh, Ash, does okay. any of this look familiar to you yet? I don't know. DM does it? Um, make an intelligence check. 
with a minus six. My intelligence is abysmal. Uh, after that rock fight, does anyone need a short it rest? Or, uh... That's crap. Like, I mean, that tower seems like a good place to hole up in. I think that was the but, original plan, was to take a short rest in the tower or something. Well, do people need it? I mean... I mean, I'm, okay. I'm all right, but, you know. I'm good. not doing great health-wise. Okay. We can, I mean, if the weather's, and it seems like for those of us who are more inclined to read the the wind currents, it seems like it's going to get shitty-er, was the impression we got. It's yeah, just we shitty. <laughs> we should check out the tower, see if we can and, hold up yeah. here until the storm passes. And what time is it? Uh, it is in the mid afternoon. Okay, might be end up might end up spending the night, but seems better than wandering out onto a bridge over a chasm in inclement weather. DM, is there something here that's supposed to be blocking sight, or is that just deep, the roll twenty being weird? That is the top of the gatehouse that you skipped over. <laughs> this thing down here? It's a map. Yeah, that's it's yeah, a map down there. Map. Okay. In case you fight the fight the rocks up there, so they're oh. immediately noping out oh, like gotcha, this. Gotcha. Okay. That's where Winley was when it came to, to life. Fair. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's check out this tower. Anyway, yeah, I will approach the tower. Okay. Uh, Do the dance, Doc. Do the tower dance. No. Winley is going to use her one free daily use of detect magic and then approach the tower. Okay. Uh, you do not detect any magic other than evocation magic from the green flames behind you. Well, those aren't natural. They are not natural. Uh, approaching the tower, you see that the door appears to be made of iron-bound wood, uh, and upon anybody trying the door, or is anybody trying to open the door or go inside? Uh, if someone moves to open the door, Winley's gonna step back. We've learned our lesson there. Mina, oh. Mina will open the door if nobody else wants I mean, I was to going to do a quick investigation check and then open the door. Okay. Yeah, I'll let you. The handle itself is just a, a ring of iron hanging from a loop, uh, but when you kind of give it a, a tug, it feels like it is uh, locked or bound by something, although there's no handle or locking mechanism on the outside. Oh, sorry, there is, there's a handle, the, the ring, but there's no, like, it's not a turning handle. There's no keyhole or anything, though, to try to... Correct. Okay, well, that's irritating. Anyone have a credit card? Uh, no, Harmony's credit score is terrible. Um, are there windows on the tower? Uh, not that you can see on this side. Okay. Well, did we see the, on the picture that you, that you gave us on the right side, it looks like, coming up the pass, it looks like maybe you can see windows on the outside of the tower. Would we have seen those? Uh, you would have. There's okay. on the, uh, they're just overlooking the cliff face. Well, we've demonstrated that climbing is <laughs> not maybe our strong suit, but that's a possibility. Uh, how high were the windows? Uh, the first, the lowest set of windows were to be about ten feet off the ground, and they are on the side overlooking the uh, overlooking the pass. So this side or the no, far side? The far where side. We are? Okay. Uh. Is there a place I could stand along the edge that would be within 30 feet of one of the windows if I wanted to try to misty step? You could walk around and see if you can get an angle. Okay. I, I also I still have one wild shape left. If we are about to take a short rest, presumably I could use that to get up there. If you could. No, if there's nowhere yeah. that Harmony could land. I'm not uh, okay. Sure. Uh, You're doing what, Ash? I knock three times on the door. Nothing happens. Okay, cool. Just make sure. Uh, Just let me know if I approach a place where footing appears to be precarious. Um, But from where Harmony's walking, can she see an opening of a window, or is it the angle just not good from where she is? The angle's not good. You are also standing on the edge of the cliff right there. Mm. Well, don't care for that, gang. Uh, Winley, can you turn into flying things now? I can sure turn into climbing things. Oh, true. Climbing things. Uh, yeah, I mean, I prefer not to use my fourth level spell on this, and I don't think I can get a good angle at 
one of the windows to Missy Step. So if you want to try, if you're okay going in alone, just to try to get in one of the windows and open the door, you could do that. Yeah, give me one second. Decide what I want to turn into. Can't fly, but she can crow. So I guess Wait, you can... Sorry, so the door is locked? Yes. But okay. not by any... There's like no mechanism we something. can find to pick. Yeah, okay, gotcha. It's, gotcha. It's, it's not like a turn handle. It's like pull or push, but something yeah. is preventing. So it's probably barred. Doc, did you try pushing and pulling? I assume with an investigation of 22, I tried pretty much any variation of opening the door you can think yeah. of. You, you're Are pretty, they you're, barrel hinges? Can we apply leverage to get it up and off of the hinges? Uh, they are not. Uh, and Doc, you are pretty certain that it's barred from the inside. Yeah, fair enough. Like Which I, makes sense for a defensive structure, so, you know. Which just means that someone's in there, probably. Or else they jumped out the window. Well, I'll send the druid in to beat them up. Well, I did knock politely, so. Yeah, so now they know we're here. Ah, they knew we were here anyway. It's true, I doubt our fight with the statues was quiet. I mean, seeing as how I was calling down bolts of lightning, probably. That's just normal weather, though. (laughs) No, they're lucky. Very very I mean, if no one else has any suggestions, when they will offer to turn into some small climbing creature. Yeah, I mean, my options in this regard are, I mean, Mina, I don't know about spider, because that seems like it might get blown away, uh, climbing on the outside of this thing. So I might squish you if you turn into a spider. I was thinking Um, some sort of, like, small, snowy, squirrely type creature. Sure. Like a... Something with a climb speed, I'm sure there's plenty. And with thick enough for it to not freeze to death in like five minutes. Yeah. Well, I mean, right. let's see what what has uh, climb speed. Um, I mean, lizards obviously do, but right. not is there anything the that like has snow. a CR? Though? Squir- squirrels are bear actually bear. an option. <laughs> Does a polar bear have a climb speed? No, I don't <laughs> think so. Uh, I'm gonna go with probs not. Um, let's see. There are also rules as far as what the CR rating is for what I can turn into. Yeah. Um. Dragonborn baboon. Okay. I say I could turn into an ape. (laughs) You could turn into an ape. Could turn into an ape. They probably have the, uh, fur that is, meets the requisite. A centipede, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. A giant spider, for sure. Lizard, of course. Giant what's your, spider. What's your CR limit? I think a half. Let me double check. Yeah, it's yeah, rating of one half or lower that does not have a fly speed. Um, so a, a monkey, I could turn into like a snow monkey of some sort. Um, a panther is an option. They have climb speeds. They sure do. I'm baffled that giant goat does. Uh, I would speed. say go with something with hands so you could still open the door from the inside. Okay. And then uh, it's a bar. Winley will turn into, like, a, a snow monkey. Okay. And <laughs> you know what has a climb speed? You can turn into a cat. Yeah. <laughs> Cats have a climb speed. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, panthers are huge cats, so... Yeah, so there you go. Huh? Anyway, I'm sorry. <laughs> As you were. Um, yeah, well, that, that'll work. Okay. I'll turn into a, a snowy monkey. Okay. And oh, look at her. She's so cute. Okay. Climbing up uh, the face of the tower, kind of up in front of the door, uh, two things. First, you realize that there actually is a window on this side. However, it has been completely like frosted over and cased over in snow. 
so you couldn't see it clearly uh, from this side. Uh, but reaching the top of the tower proves to be no obstacle for uh, Winley and her climb speed, and she finds herself uh, about 30 feet up off the ground uh, on top of a tower with eight statues and what appears to be a trapdoor set into the floor of the tower. You were going all the way up and not to one of the windows? Uh, my windows were frosted over, he just said that. Well, he oh, said the one on this side was frosted over. So my plan was to go peek in the window, Dave. All right, well, then peeking in the window, here you go. <laughs> Do I see any? Okay. Um, does there appear to be a way to get inside here without just like shattering this window super loudly? Nope, it is a glass window. Got caked okay. nice and snow. Seeing as how you said I climbed to the top and saw a trap door, I will now climb to the top <laughs> and see the trap door. <laughs> Behold. <laughs> Behold, a trap door. A trap door. Um, cool. Uh, Mina can speak with beasts, right? Very generally, yes. Okay, Winley will communicate what she's saying to Mina in the best, to the best of her abilities in monkey form. Um, do these statues start moving or look um, like I, left? I yell up to you that uh, you need to be wary of flying creatures. I hear an eagle. Winley eagle will like to snatch monkeys. Winley will look up and see if she sees any giant eagles. Make a perception check. Sure. Very vaguely in the clouds above, you see the silhouette of what looks like a very large bird. When I say very large, I mean like two horses. Winley will immediately see if she can get this trap door open. Okay. With the intention of also immediately climbing back down the tower as quickly as possible if all these statues come to life. Okay. Uh, well, the statues don't come to life when you touch the trapdoor. Are you transforming back into Winley? I'm going to try to do it in monkey form first. Okay, make an athletics check. Um, let's see what monkeys have for stats. One moment. Turn into an ape? A monkey. You said athletics? Yep. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, one moment. I know some stats you keep, but I think it's just your wisdom and intelligence. You definitely keep your, I think you keep your mental stats and lose your physical stats. Yeah, I think so. I'm, I'm just confirming. You retain your alignment, personality, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. You also retain all of your skill and saving throw profic proficiencies in addition to gaining those of the creature. Okay. Um, so, athletics. So, if Winley's proficient in athletics, oh, uh, athletics. Uh, you oh, know, I actually am not proficient in athletics, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, you know, you've, you've all seen this before, the, the capuchin monkey holding a nut and banging it on a table or something. <laughs> it's about as effective as this goes. Winley's very frustrated. Um, Winley will, at this point, um... Come back over to the side of the tower and gauge how far it is, um, and then turn back into herself. Okay. Open the door. I say, if, if no one else wants to do anything, Willie is then going to rummage around in the bag of holding to find enough rope between what she has and what everybody else had that they put in the bag to, you know, put together a length of rope long enough for the rest of the party to climb up here um, and then drop that down. Okay. Make well, it you said it's only 30 feet up, so you need just one length of rope if it's 50 foot rope, so. Okay, so yeah, I, I have at least one. Oh. Oh. Make a oh. uh, dexterity check. Okay. Um, we now return so... to our regularly scheduled game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when later we'll also call down to Mina if she wants the bag of holding and kind of like drop it to throw Sunny in if you want. Um, okay, sure. Right. <laughs> you know why not the bag of holding and cumber? Like what? Literally, why not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I don't, I mean, it doesn't, I don't think it affects him at all, so. Okay. Looks down at Sunny. Do you, do you mind it, boy? No. The, yeah. Ash, what is this, D6? This D6 is my, uh, 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 the 1D6 I can add to add to my, um, um, 
ability checks, my past knowledge stuff. Okay. Sleeping to help me out. Well, it does help. knowledge of climbing. Yep. So I got a 17 total. So it does help, and you are able to climb uh, climb to the top without any issue. Can I just move my token here, or is there a different place? With There's a different the place. Uh, and Mina, you are struggling to get up the tower. I'm not a great climber, you guys. <laughs> I'll just come right out and say it. It's not, not one of my strengths. Uh, but I'll try again. I probably do worse. So. <laughs> and, and in total fairness, I mean, it's snowy. There's already, like, snow caking onto the rope and whatnot. Like, it's not an easy climb by any means, even with the aid of the rope. When Leia finally upset, she didn't get to stay in monkey form a little longer, but... I mean, it served its purpose to get you up there without any kind of difficulty. Yeah, I know. Uh, Hermione uh, watches these proceedings on the rope uh, with bemusement, even though it's getting cold. Oh. And it's just kind of look. She's keeping watch at the ground level. Okay. Ash, I don't know what that role is for. I was trying to open the chat door. Caitlin turns around, and I'm doing the exact same thing she was doing as a monkey. I'm just hitting the table with a rock. That would be an athletics check, not a strength yeah. save. It's athletics, not strength? Yep. Yeah. The, the, well, tra the trap door is not attacking you. <laughs> or is it? Uh, is anybody else trying to climb up after Doc and Mina's struggle? Is everybody just waiting at the at the bottom? Well, they wanted to know if they were able to resume. I think. Well, yeah, I I think Winley is going to wait until the anyone who wants to come up is able to before opening this trap door or attempting to again. Okay. Ash, do you want to roll the actual athletics to to open the door? And Winley will also say as much to Ash, like maybe we should get everyone up here first. Mm. Well, Ash is on the phone, so we're, uh, we're we're waiting on that part, I guess. Uh, yes, you may make another attempt. Army's happy to wait until Doc and... Oh, boy. Uh, Harmony, make a perception check. Okay. Uh, you, too, hear what sounds like the cawing of an eagle in the distance. Sounds like a big bird, she will call out uh, over the storm. Ash, you rip the trap door open, uh, finally pulling it free of the various uh, bits of ice and snow that were jamming it to the tower. Uh, looking down into it, you see a uh, ladder leading about 10 feet down to the floor below. Um, seeing as how Ash completely ignored her, perhaps let's wait. Uh, Winley will come look down as well and listen to see if she hears anything. With this eagle coming, I wanted to make sure we had the ability to get inside if need be. Okay. Uh, Winley, what are you perceiving for? I'm listening to see if I hear anything from beneath the trapdoor. You do not. Okay. Uh, Winley will come back over to the edge of the tower and just call down, there's a trapdoor, stay down there. Seeing as how they're, they're struggling. <laughs> I don't imagine Mina and Doc got super high on the rope. <laughs> They're like two feet off the ground. <laughs> when women are like, don't, don't bother, it's fine. <laughs> um, and then um, she'll kind of turn to Ash and be like, shall we? We shall. Okay. And uh, I'll go in. Okay. Uh, Ash, you climb down without any difficulty whatsoever. Uh, the upper floor of the tower uh, is a bit of an ice box. It is freezing in here. Every window is caked in ice and snow. Uh, the iron ladder that you were able to climb down uh, simply leads to the center of the chamber. Uh, on the east side of the room, there is a uh, fireplace with uh, made of stone that has a dire wolf's head uh, mounted above it. Uh, wind is kind of howling down the, uh, the chimney of the fireplace here. Uh, to your south, there's a staircase seeming to lead to the bottom floor. Um... My perception check there, uh, 13 total, is, is just to see if I notice anything like footprints or anything to, to suggest that this place has been moved in on this floor. Like mm, anyone you do not see any evidence of that. Sweet. Um, Winley is going to follow closely behind Ash. Did she go here? Yeah, okay. Cool. And stairs here? Yep. Or is this the stairs? Okay. On the other side. Peeking down the stairs. All right, I proceed down the stairs. Okay. Uh, 
I okay. appear to be at the bottom floor. You are, and coming down the stairs, you immediately see a barred door in front of you. Uh, glancing around the room as you are, there the room looks almost identical with a stone fireplace set in the east wall and uh, frosted over windows. Awesome. I see no immediate threat, so I unbar the door to let my friends in. Okay. Winley is again following Ash very closely. Okay. Uh, the yeah, the door. You you guys hear the, the kind of a heavy thump as uh, something heavy is moved from behind the door. Uh, and then Ash, you were able to open it. Awesome. You open the door to just, Doc just kind of swinging like a pendulum on the rope. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I got it. <laughs> I'll lever myself up. <laughs> You're gonna have to cost me. Harmony lets the hastily assembled vicious mockery fall from her lips upon seeing that it's Ash and not a hostile opening the door. Well, uh, the tower appears to be empty, so come on in. Is you it said it was in there? real cold in here, though? It is, is it very top? cold in here. Uh, there is a fireplace set in the wall, uh, in the east wall, and a cold wind blows down it. Was, there, an, a was there any um, magic that I detected throughout this? Uh, you now on the main floor are detecting a bit of magic in the center of this room. Um, it feels like some sort of conjuration magic uh, in the floor. But it feels very faint, more like there was conjuration magic cast here at some point, as opposed to a present uh, version of, spe- of a spell. Okay. Uh, Harmony, upon entering the tower last, will close the door behind her and rebar it. Uh and I'll uh, turn back to the fireplace and be like, uh, should probably get that going, uh, with a meaningful look at Mina. Is there actually, is there any wood in the fireplace? There's not. Yeah, I saw some trees down here. Well, all of us did. Um, I mean, do you want me to run and see if there's any dry, you know, firewood? Harmony, uh, or a few of us could go. We need to make sure we just have firewood just in our back of holding. Not doing have, <laughs> are we carrying anything that burns easily? Mm. I mean, our warm weather, our cold weather gear probably. Uh... <laughs> hey, hey, Doc, do you have any books? Great plan. I will cut you, sir. <laughs> uh, Harmony is happy to. Well, Harmony's not one for manual labor, but she's happy to. Uh, not happy to, but she'll, if a, a logging expedition needs to be launched, she'll, well, she wouldn't really be much use. Um, Winley is happy to help with any wood collecting that needs to happen. I mean, honestly, we may just need to, it may just be smarter to hunker down without a I can, <laughs> I mean, I can set up a, if there's room in here, I can set up a tiny hut and it's warm yeah. there. I, I just mean, like, we have means of staying warm. Right. I don't know. Yeah. We could, I, I, we could go look. I would definitely be uh, up for a, a logging expedition, as you say. Whitley is also curious about what this giant eagle is doing, so would like to be able to kind of keep an eye on, on that for... See that? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the people who can curious. talk to animals should go. I'm gonna go outside. up and... Uh, I'm going to go up and close close the trap door. Okay. If there's any way to lock that, just in case. It's a shapeshifter thing. Uh, Uh, Yeah, sorry, go ahead. It does not appear to have any sort of uh, bar or bolt on it. Does it at least have, like, a a ring to, like, hold on to? Yes. Because I could put something heavy on that, maybe lash it to the ladder. Yep. You you could attempt to tie something to it. Uh, I will do that dexterity check for tying. Uh, you have tied a rope to it. How effective it I, is, you're not sure. I asked someone else to come and look. We'll come and check your knot work. Okay, uh, make, a, make an intelligence check, Doc. <laughs> it's not even a knot, it's just looped through. <laughs> you look at it and literally like pull on one end and it just comes loose. <laughs> <laughs> or we'll get I, actually, I actually did like a flawless knot, but it's one of those ones that you're supposed to be able to just pull one thing and it fall apart. <laughs> I accidentally did a complicated knot that was worthless for the task. Uh, uh, how's that? Tarmi will give it a shot, kind of rolling her eyes a bit at Ash's knot skills. Okay. It looks better. 
Okay, that's something at least. Okay. Are folks venturing out to the trees to try to get firewood, or are people just hungering in here? Yeah, I mean, if we're going to check it out, which I do feel, Winley, I, uh, Mina agrees with Winley that, like, let's spend at least another minute just kind of scoping it out, uh, and going to look for wood is a good way to do that. Um, so Mina's in. Should I start casting Tiny Hut? Either way, it does take ten minutes. Um, are we planning on just going ahead and spending the night here? I mean, I thought it was short rest and then try to push on unless the weather's, like, dramatically worsened. I mean, if we're just short resting here, then I think, uh, then I don't... Then, yeah, I don't think we need a fire. Yeah, that, I was assuming we were going to try to hunker down, but, but yeah. How bad we'll see what the weather does in an bad. hour. I mean, it's just full, full on snowing out here. Um, it's, it's wind, a combination of windy and snowy out. You know, visibility is, is maybe it, about 100, 100 feet or so clearly, and past that, you're just looking at shapes. Is it possible to get a short rest if it's that cold? It is. Are we in? Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Um, well, regardless, Winley is going to step back up, up, upside, outside and look up at the sky to try to see if she can still see that eagle or, you know, where it went or is going or anything. Okay. You see no signs of it. Okay. And then Winley will come back inside. Okay. Short rest? Short rest? Let's do it. Okay. Uh, if anyone is uh, regaining hit points uh, during the short rest, uh, Harmony will throw a song of rest out there so you get an extra 1d6 if you use a hit dice to regain hit points. Wait. Uh, someone's at my door. I will be right back. Sorry, guys. Okay. And don't worry. She's not playing the pipes of haunting for the song of rest. Appreciate it. You can, though. There's no, there's no rule against it. <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> That is exactly how much I needed for getting back to full. So, wow, perfect. Wow, 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 wow. There you go. Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> uh, in the middle, Wait. in the middle of your rest, uh, kind of about, about maybe half an hour into it, uh, you feel the uh, structure shudder for a moment, as if wind bats it kind of uh, extra hard for a moment. Uh, and a large shadow passes the windows on the east side of the building, uh, and then the the shuttering stops and the shadow disappears. Uh, can Winley look out the window and see if like what if she could tell what that was? Uh, it is very difficult to see through the ice and snow covered windows. It's just the light that was blocked for a moment. Okay, uh, Winley, if this is allowable during a short rest, would like to like step out the front door and see if she can peek around and see what that is. Uh, yes, you may make a perception check. Sure. Okay. Uh, you do not see any source. Okay. Creepy. Probably nothing. Okay. Nothing to be worried about. Of course not. Well, you have all been able to rest uh, for the last hour or so. Uh, the weather has not gotten any better. Mm. It's gotten worse? Lovely. It has not gotten worse. Well, that's good at least. So, do we think it's worth trying to press on? I guess we have this as a fallback position, we think. Yeah. So. Just don't lock the door behind us. What did we see across this bridge down here? What did Could we see anything over on the other side of that? You can only vaguely see the far side of the, uh, the chasm there. It's very heavily obscured by snow. Gotcha. Well, let's go fight whatever's in the snowstorm. Yep, let's do it. Seems like a big bird. Yep. We love those. 
Uh, so you're pre- pressing out of the tower, I assume? Yep. Okay. I believe that's the plan. Onward towards Yonder Bridge, which the giant eagle will, ine- will inevitably try to hug someone off of. I'm calling it now. <laughs> well, you have Featherfall prepared, right? Yeah, yep, I sure do. <laughs> For exactly and we consider it wild shaping into something heavier. <laughs> ah, you could. Oh, wait, you can't wild shape into flying things. That's right. I cannot. Yet. Not yet. Okay. Should I. Uh, uh, do we feel like this is bad enough that I should take a minute to apply the oil of sharpness? Nah. Okay. Hang on to it. Just wanted to field that question. Okay. Late afternoon. Yeah, Harvey's going to go ahead and cast Gift of Alacrity at the end of this short rest. Okay. Just to make that... But did we do any kind of uh, investigation check of the tower just to see if we... We sure did. <laughs> no. Oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't realize. I thought that had happened on the way down. I guess I misheard. Could we have... Could we... Like, Mina, Mina was at full health, so she was just sitting around for an hour. Uh, if it's too late, it's totally fine. But totally would have looked around. You can make an investigation check if you'd like. All right. Harmony needed the full rest to get her bardic inspiration back, so I can't help you out with that. Well, that's it's all right. Fine. Whoa! Man, it doesn't need your help. Uh, it is a remarkably unoccupied and ill-used tower by the appearance. Uh, Mina, both between just her investigation as well as her expert tracking skills, is quite certain that no one has been here in a very long time. Cool. Okay. Well, well I'll be happy to get barred from the end. Yeah, time. I was going to say... <laughs> I mean, someone who left through the trap door. Well, the conjuration magic, right? That's yeah, that's a good, that's a good point as well. All that's right. me meta gaming. Harmony probably doesn't know that. That makes me feel less uh, bad about retconning that investigation. So, onward and upward. Let's do it. Yep. Oh, yeah. Well, hopefully not up too much upward. It's been a lot of climbing. Today. I mean, I'd rather upward than downward with where we're. Uh, here, so. How are people while well, Harmony's buffing? Do people like aid? Does the five hit points not really make that appreciable a difference? Uh, I mean, it's should not I hang on to the? It's not on thing, but I want to hold on to spell slot for now. Okay, I'll hang on to it for now. Okay. Okay. Then gift of alacrity is all the buffing I'll do because I'm selfish. <laughs> all right. Well, then, if you're all heading out, you may head out. Great. Uh, do we need to be an initiative, or are we just kind of move it yep. as a group? If you all just want to take, you know, 30-foot 30, 30 steps or so at a time, um, and not, sure. not go sprinting ahead necessarily. Probably For me, not maybe let's, let's move down to the trees and, and take stock. Sure. 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 Oh, sure. Oh, I'll sure. Skip ahead slightly to the trees, then, if that's... Not, okay. not loving Dan's tone. <laughs> around That's all fine. of this coming Wait, around the these trees up here yep. yes yeah. coming around the bend of the mountain uh just so you're aware looking over here to the west uh past the trees this uh cliff runs for about maybe another 100 feet or so and then peters off as the the mountain kind of closes up and just becomes sheer past that point uh here looking through the two uh two towers uh these are uh, made of stone much similar to the, to the gates up front uh, but there are uh, statues of knights standing on top, uh, holding lances, facing each other uh, on top of the archway that leads to a uh, 10-foot wide bridge that is crossing this uh, this chasm. Uh, notably, the bridge does have some damage on it. Um, oh, I've got my measurement on for some reason. Uh, with uh, small chunks of the bridge missing here, and the bridge itself uh, is icy and windswept. Do the uh, knight statues appear and adorned or wearing armor of any particular noteworthiness. Make a perception check. Okay. Also, I I can see openings in the sides here. Are there in are there doors into those little towers? There are small nooks in them, yes. Okay. And to clarify, did you mean like this thing is sheer cliff right here where I'm pinging? Out here. Is... Well, this is sheer cliff, but I'm saying this this path here past the trees runs around 100 feet and then turns into sheer cliff. Oh, okay, I gotcha. So it's not a way back up if hypothetically someone were to get yoked into the river over there. You. Fair enough. Yoked. Yep, it's the past tense of eat. Uh, Harmony has 50 feet of rope. 
uh, on her name hack that she keeps uh, on her person. Okay. Easy enough. Okay. Uh, right. Ash, kind of looking looking through those doorways, these appear to have been uh, perhaps storage or, or gatehouses of some variety, but there's nothing in these uh, these little alcoves. I'm just gonna right. say it. Uh, not getting a great like vibe. From oh yeah, no, this bridge. is absolutely a trap. <laughs> well, how far down's the fall? Really? Uh, about 500 <laughs> feet. Okay. Although it's it's presently a. Yeah. I mean, let's just uh, all tie ourselves onto the length of rope. It is, by the way, more of a. One of us. Oh, it, it is more, uh, as a note, but more of a bank of fog below you off the cliffs than than a clear mm-hmm. sight. But. Okay. Heaviest person in the back, or in the middle. What makes more sense? Uh, why don't we just hustle across the bridge? It's not that long. Because it's icy, and wind struck swept. Meaning, you combine ice with wind, and you get pushed over the edge very easily. Well, if we all tie each other to the world, someone then, has to go, and I guess it'll be me. Why don't we? Why don't we tie the, the smallest person? I mean, if anyone's gonna get hurled off, it's gonna be me. So, might as well just roll those dice now. Yeah, he's got featherfall. <laughs> also, that. Although I guess that's an argument for me to stay last because I can cast feather fall that's on people true. as they fall. So, uh, I mean, if you want Harmony to try to sneak across the bridge, she can. She's learned her lesson about going first, so she's. Hey, not Nina, eager, give us an but... excuse to not have you in the session. Go ahead and cross the bridge first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Um. And I mean, like Mina would fully so would go back for the rope if Winley wants to, if if Winley suggests it. Um, no, I just wanted to make sure that we were either consciously leaving it or going oh, back. So we we we, yeah. we we should probably take note of how many ropes we actually have because we have two tied up on the main tower. We used a third one to get no, out the tower. It's only the one. Gatehouse. We had we used two on the gatehouse and they're still right. there. We no, used I, the we took the we took the one. I back. picked up the first one. Oh, okay. there's, there's, we're only missing one rope. Right. Okay. So, and we probably used the length of rope to tie the hatch closed, unless we undid that when we left. I mean, we left the front door open. There's not much sense in leaving the hatch latched in that case. Okay. So we at least have two. So we're down one set of rope. How much rope do we have total? Because I know I had one of my. Pretty much everyone had probably started with one with their dozen years back or whatever their equivalent. So was. that would be a total of. 250 feet. I think well, leaving, the large, one. leaving the one oh, yeah. for a quick escape if we need to, I think is fine, as long as we're also fine with leaving evidence that we've been here. Sure. Well, we killed the statues, so if you, that's also if, evidence. If you, tie, uh, if you tie me off, I could cast Longstrider, or, I mean, I, I'm just suggesting myself because I'm willing to, to be a potential sacrifice, um, I could cast a uh, long strider and I could make it across in one turn. Um, so, I'm, and Mina's like also concerned that we might just be over the bridge. But it's very possible. Uh, well, the we'd have to use more if we were going to tie you off. It's more than fifty feet across the bridge. Yeah, so we'd need the two things a rope to get across. It's, Yes, yeah, like but I, I'll use one, and if someone lends theirs, we tie them together and tie a little harness around me. I'll probably still die, but it, it gives me... I mean, uh, to be uh, fair, my fun. joke was more like, okay, if we feather fall you down the 500-foot chasm, like, you're not getting back anytime soon, so it's an That's excuse true. to have you not in the party for a while while yeah, still... Fighting like, not, not because I'm expecting you to die, necessarily, yeah. but... Or and if anyone please. could find their way back to the party from a 500 foot drop alone in the wilderness, it's Mina and this party. That's, so. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, I mean, we could just like walk across the bridge. I say we send Sonny across. He can get across in one round, right? I, and there's also the economical part of me. It's like, well, okay, if we all fall at once, at least I can cast Feather Fall on everyone using only a single spell slot instead of having to do it piecemeal. Do you want to try Sunny let's, first and just see what yeah, happens? Yeah, let's send Sunny across. Fetch or stuff. Uh, no, the DM went, oh, God. <laughs> I um, feel like no single person should just go across by themselves. But Sunny's a wolf. Go, Sunny, go. 
Wolves well, are people too. <laughs> okay, Sonny's Sonny's are easier sprint. to rest the party members. Sonny's gonna sprint at top speed across the bridge, and Mina is like fully at the ready to shoot anything that tries to do anything. Okay. Uh, as Sonny uh, begins crossing and races about the midpoint, a uh, very familiar figure appears at the far end of the bridge. Oh, our cover's blown, guys! Quite importantly, materializing from thin air. Go get him, Sonny. Well, Sonny, I mean, did he double? Did Sonny double move already, or was that like one? That was a, that would be kind of in the middle of the first move action. Would be when, okay. When well, that then, Sonny will turn around and... <laughs> turn around and run away. <laughs> yep. Are we rolling initiative? Not unless you want to. Is he saying anything, or is he just standing there menacingly? Standing there menacingly, looking at you from across the bridge. He could just be an illusion. Yeah. You want me to go talk to him? You should go look like him and talk should to look him. Like, no, look like Baba La Saga. <laughs> yeah, let's run the... Let's run the... <laughs> I have a great idea, you guys. Uh, does anyone have anything that could break the... I mean, Strahd, could, nightmares can fly. I would say the horse flies. Yeah. Good idea, but no. We've seen that happen. Yes, we uh, have. Is he like... Is, okay, all right. <laughs> Can I roll something to see if I think this is an illusion? Like, I know it's far away, but is he, like, moving, like, breathing? I don't know. Is there a shimmer? If you look really closely, is there a shimmer? You can make a perception check. Sure. That was just a regular wolf. Uh, looks very real to you. Okay. Uh... Okay, Harmony's gonna like look around at the group, like, so are we doing this or are we turning around? So here's my question Is he facing us? Like, is he looking at us? He sees us or we just see him? Uh, looking right at you. Great. Love it. How does he respond to seeing people that he thought he has already murdered? Just appeared out of thin air and is, is staring at you menacingly from the far side of the bridge. This makes me think that this is maybe not really Strat. That's, That's the whole thing. I'm thinking what, uh, maybe it's just an illusion or something. Uh, Harmony's like, watch my back. and uh, I would have expected gonna, him to start gloating. And is going to go walking out there. Yeah, did Sonny look like he had any difficulties on the bridge? Uh, no, Sonny seemed fine on the bridge. I will go with Harmony then. Okay. Yeah, Harmony's like slowly striding out trying to appear unbothered. She's bothered, though. <laughs> that happens. I mean, naturally. You gonna roll a deception? Uh, for in what sense? Because you're trying to look not bothered, but you told me. Oh, I'll go with you. Okay. I'm with you. I'm right behind you. Uh, does he, let me know, like, Harvey's gonna, like, it feels like talking distance is not here yet, right? How close would I have to get to it for us to reasonably be able to hear each other? Uh, These are each 10 foot squares, right? I mean, you, yeah. Each yeah, but square we, we still occupy a five square. Yeah. yeah. Right, right, right. I'm just saying, as, as you're approaching, not doing anything. Like, I still want okay. to stay with the group here for uh, the spell slot yeah. efficiency reasons mentioned uh, before. Harvey's going to move up to here and then kind of stop and, like, look him up and down and say, and kind of call out, Lord Zarovich, what brings you out here in this? unpleasant weather. Uh, he simply stares at you. Hmm. Okay. Harmony's suspicion is raised. Uh... uh <laughs> she kind of, like, looks... Look. She kind of, like, looks back at me to, like, do you want to take a pot shot at him, or do we want to just keep Yeah, Mina, Mina doesn't think he's real, so... Maybe we should just walk past him and not even mess with it. Uh... Harmony will continue to approach. Uh, does he say anything when she gets to here? No. Uh, I look suspiciously like him checking the distance. <laughs> just passing by your hideousness, and she will uh, walk up to here. Does she feel like any like heat emanating off of the flaming horse? Okay, so Mina, Mina remembers something that was like 
right at the right at the back of our mind. Uh, vampires really don't uh, like running water, specifically being over or near running water. Oh so, shit! Uh, oh. I really don't think this is him. Um, now continue, Harmony. Just wanted right. to throw that out there. Right. It might still uh, be him. I, Lord Zarovich could still be you. No, oh. uh, still it. There is heat but. emanating from uh, from yonder horse. Very convincing illusion, if it's an illusion. Does he, like, keep watching Harmony as she walks up? Uh, he's got, I mean, just uh, kind of being aloft in the horse and whatnot, he's really looking over all of you more than anything. Uh, Harmony kind of looks up. I'm right behind you, Harm. Yep. And she, um, uh, kind of looks up from where she's standing right now, up straight at him, and kind of gives him a cheeky grin and says, she come to finish the job, or what are we doing here? Does not respond. So, is, okay. Are, is there room enough for us to get around him? Uh, Winley, you are detecting nothing from back there. No, I would have to cast it again, because I used guidance between... Nah, <laughs> let's, let's see if he... I mean, if he attacks, we'll know, and if he doesn't attack, we'll also probably know. Well, Versus... yeah, I would... Dependent upon whether we can sort of shimmy by him. Right. Um, can we? Yeah. Shimmy by him? Uh, I mean, he's he's filling up a good a good amount of space in the bridge, but yes, you could you could try to squeeze past the horse. I'm right behind you. Okay. Yeah, I'm uh, just thinking, knowing Strahd, if we happen to like touch this yeah. illusion in any way, yeah. he's probably going to know we're here. Right. I'm just going to take the disengage action and attempt to shimmy by uh, this illusion. Okay. But if it's an illusion. Oh. Shimmy by Strahd. Uh, he does not respond to uh, Harmony kind of shimmying around the horse. I, I'm right behind Arm. Yeah. Same. All right. I'll, yep. Let's do it. Okay. He feels very large and does not like this plan, but we'll follow suit. He may does just he, be. Does he keep watching moving. us as we go beyond him? No. Yeah, so if this was Strahd, he definitely would have said something. Dude, he's can't never, resist, he's never right? been lack. He has never had a lack of, of the you know just tossing out banter and shit. So the I fact that he hasn't said anything when you know we came by just to me says that that he's not real. Really uh, gonna detect but... magic. Okay, uh, there is magic. There is illusory magic. Oh thank God! <laughs> I told you. Let's uh, let's leave this behind us at top let's... speed. I vote. Yeah, yeah, that. Um, I will quickly. I want to poke my head into this this room here and just look up to see if there's anything above. Because I didn't really. I looked briefly into these rooms, but didn't go into them. I just wanted to see. Do no. those go up anyway? Is there a trap door of any kind? Or nope. It it is a very boring ten by ten room here, and ten ten feet as well. It just seems to lead up into the space underneath the statues above you. Okay. Cool. And that said, uh, having crossed the far side, as soon as uh, the last few have passed through the archway, uh, the illusion of Strahd uh, disintegrates into ash and is blown away in the wind. Uh, ooh, scary. Well, glad we didn't uh, throw any higher level spells at that, I suppose. Uh, can we see anything on the other side? No, but uh, yeah. The trail continues around the edge of the mountain ahead. Uh, Harmony will kind of remark, well, that's either a sign we're on the right path or in or for a bad one. time, I suppose. Yes, precisely. It's uh, an but... interesting uh, little, like, keep out sign, though, right? Yes, well, that Putting sign can't the devil stop of this me. land just on the bridge? Who, who, not very many would dare in, from this land go past that. Just us, so let's see what he wants hidden. Yep. People. Okay. I agree. Continue. On. Alright, well then moving you all back onto yonder world map. Yay, world maps! I do still now have detect magic for the next ten minutes, so let me know if I detect anything. Will do. Okay. Harmony keeps casting minor illusion to penguin Lee's detect magic. Not. Yay. <laughs> Ooh, it's Strahd! It's spooky, scary skeletons! I'm pretty sure it's been ten minutes when 
Uh, yep, as, I would say so. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> as no. much as we've moved, unless we're very, very fast. Uh, no, yeah. you're about two two miles down the trail, uh, and as you are coming around a bend in the mountainside, uh, you find yourselves on yonder uh, yonder narrow ledge above the the distant valley below. Uh, Whoa. Coming around the bend, you see uh, two things. Uh, one, the snow has thickened at this point, to the point that your visibility has gotten a little bit worse. But uh, more importantly, uh, ahead of you, you see an enormous horse-sized goat running down the uh, trail towards you, being chased by four men uh, carrying uh, spears. Barbarian-looking men? Barbarian-looking men. Roll initiative. Okay. Well, Winley, you have the initiative. Uh, Talk to the goat and see if it's actually under distress. I, I suppose Winley will come forward a little bit um, and will say something to the goat. Um, just in, in her mind, all animals can be useful and helpful in some manner, so she doesn't want the goat to die before she gets a chance to, you know, talk to it. Um, so she's going to tell the goat to get behind her and she'll protect it. And then she will... Um, Cast Guiding Bolt on uh, one of these. I'm, I'm the just going to note the goat is far too large to just, like, walk around any of you. That's fine. Okay. Just, like, in a general get-behind-us sort of manner. Okay. Um, and then... I like to walk, walk through our squares, Dan. <laughs> yeah, the goat's clearly an ally. Yeah. It is... Um, uh, my point is that it's physically too big for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Guiding Bolt on the first barbarian. Okay. Uh, hits it. Quite, quite effectively. 12 radiant damage. Okay. Then a bonus action, if roll 20 will cooperate. Um, I'll go into my archer form, and I will shoot at that same one with advantage because my bolt guides me. 12 more radiant damage. Very, uh, very nice uh, double double up there, uh, as he has struck twice, but still standing. And having fought these uh, barbarians, perhaps similar or the same as these before, you know they are quite hardy stock. All right. Uh, that they take half damage from a bunch of stuff. Harmony. Do these um, uh, barbarians look similarly either garbed or adorned as the ones we fought at Yester Hill? Uh, very similar, but very hard to tell also in the weather conditions. They're definitely wearing cold weather hides and whatnot. I think the fact that there's barbarians here kind of just kind of proves we're on the right They're track. just around also. Uh, okay. Harmony will move. Oh, yes, I am still hiding. <laughs> uh... Harmony will, let's see, move up into insulting range, uh, which was like 15 feet. And I think I'm within 60 feet of one of these fellows. Yeah, I sure am. Uh, so she will lob an insult over the storm at one of these barbarians. Uh, let's call it. Which one did you attack, Winley? Uh, the front bottom one. Okay, I'll throw one at this one just to try to... Oh. Good. I'll throw one at the top one. Uh, try to um, throw, uh, diminish his ability to hurt our apparent goat friend. Okay. Who we have decided is our friend. For... He's viciously mocked. <laughs> okay, great. He has disadvantage on his next attack roll. And Harmony is going to uh, retreat behind the beefier members of the party once again. Take her talents back to the back row. Okay. And that'll be it for her. Mina. Okay. Uh, well, Mina, first of all, as a free action, is just going to kind of wave Sunny back because, uh, I don't know, I do, I'm getting the vibe that we're teaming up with, I'm, I'm getting the vibe that we're Team Goat, uh, and Sunny is probably not going to be a great uh, addition to that whole situation, but Mina will step forward. Sorry, not to, I'm not trying to be in front of Lindley there, just kind of hugging the wall. Uh, and going to, mm, well, I remember these guys being kind of major assholes, so, uh, 
considering throwing a Hunter's Mark out there, but they haven't gone yet. It's the first turn, so I still have advantage. Sorry, thinking out loud. Uh, here's a sharpshooter on the... How's this one looking after taking some heat? Uh, still standing. Uh, you know, definitely been, been hit twice and severely mocked, but standing quite quite firmly as it continues its pursuit. Okay, well then he gets the first sharpshooter here. Uh, 22. Does that hit? That yeah. does hit. Alright, 16 damage and bonus action. There you go. All right, uh, looking looking very jacked up, having been shot four times now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and yeah, Mina feels like that's a pretty good place to stand. So yeah, that's my turn. Okay, uh, the two two frontal uh, barbarians run uh, run up and uh, stab at the goat uh, with their spears. Don't forget that one of them has disadvantage. He does have disadvantage, which actually does spare the uh, the goat from his stab. Um, uh-huh. Indeed. Uh, that said, the goat takes a very nasty stab from uh, one of the other ones and, and seems quite badly injured by it. Uh, the two in the back throw spears in uh, Winley and Mina's direction. That tracks. Uh, which happened to fortunately be blown aside by the uh, the wind, uh, leaving leaving you both uh, un- in- uninhibited, uh, or unhindered, excuse me. Uh, the goat uh, attempts to stagger away from uh, these uh, warriors who stab at it for opportunity attack reasons. Uh, and unfortunately, it collapses as a second stab uh, seems to lay it low. It, it, it can't do a disengage action? It's not trying to. Oh, that's weird. I mean, it, it's a deliberate action that people can try to take, but that's not what it's doing. Um it's also very meta for you to ask whether it's taking the disengage action. Um, Sunny. Um, all right. Sunny is going to be... Uh, well, he's going to be aggressive now that the goat is on the ground. For, the re- uh, for reference, by the way, the goat is big and there's just kind of a pile of goat there. It is difficult terrain to get past it. Okay. Uh... Well, that was a move action for him anyway to get up there. So, Sonny will, (laughs) I don't know. He doesn't really want to, he's not really feeling up to, like, closing with them over, like, piles of ruined goat. So, he's going to stay where he is, and actually, uh, he will he'll stop a little bit before the goat. Uh, And he's going to ready an action to, if... uh, if and when a barbarian comes into one of these spaces, he's gonna uh, bite him. That's it. Okay. Uh, Doc. Yeah. I hit my. He actually worked out for once while being diagonal. Um, and they are not quite in range. Oh god, the thing got screwed up. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to double move since I don't quite have the uh, <clears throat> the oomph to uh, get in range there. So I will run up, and I actually still have 10 pip HP from my last defensive field. So I'm going to stick with that just yep. for a double move. Okay. Ash. I am going to move forward just a little bit. I'm gonna move over here. Why not in a square? It was giving me like 0.1. That was really weird. Okay, I move here and I'm going to Sacred Flame, the one that's been pounded on already. Okay. So, Dex save. Uh, un- unfortunately, succeeds at that save. Fuck you, barbarian, and that's me. All right, uh, Winley. Um, Winley is. Not entirely sure that we have a good reason to think that these guys are, like, evil or that we should just murder them. Um, Now that the goat is dead, (laughs) she has a bit more sense. Um, And she is going to um, call out to them in common um, and just say something like, you know, hold up, wait, can we talk? And um, hold her action 
and throw another archer bolt at one of them if we attack. Okay. Uh, make a persuasion check. Ah, uh, sure. Uh, unfortunately, by showing them your peaceable ways through force, they do not seem to uh, take <laughs> heed of your words. Fine, fine. Yeah. Harmony. Just to picture what's going on here, we came up on them presumably hunting this goat. Winley went into a PETA-induced rage and started throwing lasers at them. And then well, after they finished killing the goat, she was like, wait, can we talk about this? Yes, that's exactly what happened. Okay. He oh, no. you know, can, can I make my archer attack since they didn't listen to me? Well, so they haven't taken their action yet, but you have your ready to action. Okay. Uh, okay, well, Harmony was a little confused when Lee immediately launched a, <laughs> a uh, aggressive strike upon them for happening around the corner trying to eat, but... The die is cast now, Winley. We're in it now. So. <laughs> hey, you viciously mocked them too. You're a follower. Yeah, after she fucking threw a Kamehameha at them. I take full responsibility for the situation we are currently in. Good, you should. But it's also all the your... DM's fault for making us roll initiative. <laughs> it's all your fault. And I just no, want you to think about that. Now let's yeah. just finish murdering them and shove their bodies <laughs> off the cliff and just move on. All right. No, hey, we it can leave so one survivor to interrogate because we're <laughs> the heroes. Uh, speaking of which, uh, the guy that's taken the beating so far is going to get mocked again. How dare you try to feed your family, you idiot! Uh, it does him in. <laughs> he collapses in the snow. That's right! Maybe next time you'll think about what you did, i.e. Should have been a vegetarian! <laughs> Vegans! <laughs> Rallies! <laughs> and uh, Armony is content to move up into this alcove, hopefully out of spear-chucking vicinity from these barbarians and end her turn. She feels somewhat conflicted about what's going on here, but only somewhat. Okay. Uh, next up, Mina. Yeah, I mean... I, I guess... I guess Mina's feeling conflicted. Uh, I don't know. It was Mina was feeling pretty primed for some kind of a fight on this path anyway, so... Meh. These are kind of like the barbarians that fucked around with us outside the Golthias Grove. That's close enough. Good enough reason. I'm going to keep shooting this one. Um, and we will... Yeah, I'm just going to... I'm not going to Hunter's Mark or anything. Sharpshooter. A 19. Solid hit. Yeah. And second one... Um, that's, that's the way yeah. it goes. Nope. Uh, not and yeah, that's me. Uh, I guess at this point, Mina will move up. And. Oh, sorry. Uh, also, did not want to be off the cliff. There we go. Okay. Anything else, Mina? Uh, no, that's it. All right. Uh, they begin to clamber over the body of the, uh, the goat. And uh, as Doc is the, the closest person to uh, this shit. punish. Uh, fortunately, Doc is able to, to bat away their primitive, primitive spears uh, with little little effort. Uh, but everybody make a perception check. I'm very close to do perception with. Any day, Harmony. I don't think Harmony is there, or they're Harm muted. Harmony is dead, I guess. All right, well, everybody but Harmony sees uh, another band of the uh, barbarians charging up the path. Cool, love it. And 
then with that is Sunny's turn. Can I use my ready to action? You sure can. On the the one directly in front of Doc. Okay. Well, uh, that is a miss. Okay. All right, Sunny. All right. Well, this is going super well. Uh, Sunny will step up there and attack this guy. And pack tactics, thanks, Doc. There you go. That is a hit, and he is not pulled down. But it's a good bite. It's a solid, yep. solid calf snap. Yep, good stuff. And that's it for Sunny. All right, Doc. Uh, punch on the one directly to my east. 16 hit. That is a hit. Punch on the one to his north. Okay, that is also a hit. Yep. And that'll be it. Alrighty, next up then is Ash. I just realized that this is a cliff face, and I don't want to be by the edge, so I'm going to move myself over here, and then I'm going to do another Sacred Flame. On this guy. Okay, let's see if he is uh, feeling, feeling nimble. He is feeling nimble. Uh, and and jerks, a, jerks aside as the Holy Flame of Bomb it uh, misses. I'm so bad at Sacred Flame. Okay, that's me. Alright, with me. Um, Winley, seeing the additional pile of them coming along, is going to cast Spike Growth. Um, and that is going to be a big old circle. Should be 40, 40 feet across. So okay. approximately there. Okay. Um, and I'll go ahead and drop that in the chat just so you can yeah. refer to it. I don't know if those guys down there can see that area or not, but you can handle that. Um, and then I'll bonus action uh, to drop another archer attack on the one directly in front of Sunny. Okay. Solid hit. For 12 over radiant damage. All right. And then it is Harmony. Harmony considers her oh I'm hidden behind snow candle again. I'm here. Okay, there we go. Uh uh Harmony considers busting out her Strahd impression at Ash's urge, and, uh, but it has not come to des being desperate enough to try that, I don't think. Uh I am close enough to uh Okay, uh, I'm gonna vicious mockery the one in the back row that hasn't the dog wasn't able to taunt. Yep. Might as well spread around the disadvantage if we're able to. Barbarians are so known for their wisdom, but not enough. Yep, not enough. And uh, as a bonus action, Army's gonna call out to Winley. Uh, well, you got us into this fight, Biggin. You better get us out of it. And uh, he's going to throw her a bardic inspiration. When they feels incredibly inspired. So inspired. I would so. hope so. All right. Mina. Should I put another spike growth on where they are now, bordering right up against Winley's? <laughs> and just, like, create an endless... An enormous Lion King style. Do, the, do they stack on each other? Can you stack spike no, growth? No, you can't. You can't stack them, but the range is far enough that I could put it like over here, so they would start taking damage right away when they start moving, and then and they'd have to move through two of them. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if that's actually like the best thing to do. I just that was what I was gonna. I do think it's funny. Me. They would almost certainly be dead before they got to us if they actually tried to move through it. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, fuck these guys. Uh, <laughs> who, as Har uh, uh, yeah, Harmony pointed out, were just hunting to feed their families. Uh, I'll take an opportunity attack to move back there. Uh, and then, yeah, I'm casting the spike growth. Oh, you already put it out there. Sweet. Okay. Uh, I mean, miss, I... It misses you with the spear as you as you dodge away. Okay, and I'm happy to 
I don't really like this safety, this safe uh, bubble okay. right, th right there. I'm happy to like overlap them a little bit to give them no like safe corner in there. Yeah, that's 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 kind of what I'm into. Just an endless path of pain. Uh, and yeah, that's it for me. Now. All right. Let's see how the endless path of pain goes here. Uh, first, the three up here at the front uh, continue to attack Doc. Uh, Doc, your armor is serving you very well. Uh, and the uh, one in the back is going to shift around into this nook and take a swing at Sunny. And hit Sunny for six. And then these two... Oh, let's say they're going to try to run all the way through, so let's see how this goes. I'm just going to move, move them for the sake of their, their full movement here. But uh, you want to go ahead and roll t uh, 24 die 4? So 12 for each of us? Uh, sure. I, that would just be, yeah. Yep. Okay. 12. So it's 2d4 per 5 feet. Yep. It would be more than that. Uh, let's see. Total... Because uh, it's 40 feet. Yeah, no. It is, it is, it is 24. Yeah, it's 24 D4. No, so yeah. So you... I just... I only rolled my 12 type 4. You still need to roll your 12 type 4. Right, but I still don't think that's enough. Because if it's 40 feet across, it should be... Well, they're not moving literally 40 feet across in terms okay. of how their movement is, but... Okay. When I me when I measured out their movement, it comes out to sixty. Came out to sixty for them. So, B twelve, twelve total. Sure. I mean, I'll still take that fifty one damage. Yep. yep. They are like super fucking ripped up as they're <laughs> reaching the end of this. Uh, their compatriots behind them uh, are are gonna start to follow uh, and get to about here when they're gonna stop. Uh, so it's gonna be. And, yeah, come on. It's going to be uh, 6, 5, and 44. Oh, sorry, yeah, 12, 12, 5, and 40. Yeah, 12, 5, and, or 12, 12 8, and uh, 12, fuck me, 12, 10, and 8, D4. That 12d4 roll was quite solid. I'm happy with that. That was a good one. The 10 was also pretty solid. Yeah, okay. yeah. They, yeah. they then, in, in terms of following, seeing how badly ripped up the ones ahead of them are, are going to try to run back out. So if you want to roll a second set of the same. <laughs> what idiot. And also, not, not to like ruin this incredible thing that's happening, it does say in the spell that if they can see it, they know that it's hazardous. Oh, they knew it was there, just didn't know how bad it was. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, yikes, yeah, they are, they are very, very ripped up. Uh, None of them die, but they are uh, they are in a lot of pain. <laughs> a lot of pain. Uh, and then it's Sunny's turn. Oh, that's all right. We'll still get them. Um, eyeballing them from over here. Uh, but all right, Sunny is going to work on the ones right in front of him. Uh, he'll keep attacking this one that he's been attacking. Uh, and... There you go. All right, a very solid snap. No. Yep. And is he still standing? He's still standing, but he's he's like absolutely on his last legs here. Sweet. Uh, yeah, that's it for Sunny. All right. Hold uh, on. Duck. Empty punch. Same order of operations as last time, starting with the east okay. one. Okay. Misses, I miss. assume. Yep. Yeah, I'll still switch targets to the other one though. Okay. Well, you kill Captain Last Legs. Cool, 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 cool. Anything else, Doc? Um, 
No, I'm good. All right, Ash. All right, I'm going to attempt to use my sword here since uh, Sacred Flame has been failing me. So we'll see how bad. Roll your attacks at minus six, and there aren't any. Like I still feel like Sacred Flame is. Eh, whatever you do. You. Well, if I roll a five, it doesn't really help. That's me. All right. You tried though. Winley. Um, I'll take an archer shot at the one up by Sunny. Eight radiant damage. Okay. Still standing, still still hardy, not one that's been beaten on too badly so far. Okay, okay. Um, then Winley will run over here kind of behind Doc and Ash, uh, mostly behind Doc giving me a high five on the way past for a job well done. Um, and then go for some... Mina heartily accepts the high five. Um, and then some poison spray. I don't know why that's why that rolled like that. D20. What are you doing? There you go. Okay. Uh, very effective. Uh, which one is the same debt? The one across from Doc. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's only got a 10 foot. Hacks and coughs as the poison sprays over him. Huzzah. All right. Harmony. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Harmony feels... Let's see, where is she in relation to... Okay. Uh, Harmony feels a bit cruel throwing insults at these guys who just dragged themselves through an entire knife pit, but needs must, I suppose. She's going to throw a vicious mockery at uh, uh, the lead one just starting to emerge from the spike growth. Uh, uh, and he is viciously mocked. Yes, very. And uh, Harmony sort of um, looks at what Mina and Winley did to these guys, and it's like, maybe my inspiration is too powerful. <laughs> okay. Um, Anything else? Oh, yeah, it could have. Well, that's a spell slot. And it doesn't... Anyways, that's Harmony's turn. Okay. Mina. All right, well, Mina will half here. Uh, Harmony's comment, and uh, because she's kind of focusing across the distance over to this one over here, and she's gonna take a shot at him. Um, feeling slightly ruthless, but it's the way it's gone. Uh, sharpshooter, uh, again, at the one that's furthest away over there. Okay. It's a solid shot. Uh, and then a bonus action second sharpshooter at the same one. Okay. Oh, no, and to just be clear, you're shooting at this one back here. No, no, no. I'm oh. sorry. The very farthest one away. Oh, okay. The farthest. Trying to pick him off at range here. Uh, two solid shots to the back. He is absolutely stumbling here. Oh, man. All right. Uh, and, yeah, that's it for Mina. Uh, oh, and, except for, sorry, coordinated strike triggers finally. Uh, Sunny is going to take a bite on on this one right here uh, for the pack tactics of it. There you go. Solid bite. Uh, he is he is not dragged to the ground, but still uh, still hurting. All right, and yeah, that's it for me. Okay. Uh, the uh, the barbarian here near Sunny uh, continues to try to hit him. Uh, ooh, slashing him for a brutal 15 damage with his spear. Uh, and then the one next to you, Ash, uh, is attempting to shove you off the cliff. Make an athletics check. Does that count as an attack? It does count as an attack. Actually, no, I'm going to hold on to my reaction in case I need to feather fall Ash. Never mind. <laughs> I don't see an Ash at his desk. Well, that's really awkward timing for Ash, who is now sure in is. deep and immediate mortal peril. <laughs> his life. Wait, are there... Two? I only see one barbarian here. Are there two? Am I missing one? Yep. One there. Oh, one oh I just can't see him because of the here. corner. Yeah. Yep, I got it. 
It's a good thing that I can access Ash's uh, sheet here and uh, roll a nat one for him real quick. <laughs> Yay. Oof. Uh, Ash is being pushed off the cliff, uh, and he and Doc and Winley uh, may all make a uh, re dexterity save if anybody would like to try to save him from falling off. I mean, yeah. <laughs> save, you said? Yep. Okay. Great at those. Yep, that, that tracks. <laughs> Winley for the clutch. <laughs> he uh, is unable to, to she, Ash is unable to save herself. Doc grasps feebly after her, and uh, Winley snatches her literally like one foot still on the edge of the cliff. Uh, so can I take, can I take my sentinel attack now that I know, or is that, no, would that have been? That was your reaction. I, I figured, okay. Yeah. okay. Good try though. Uh, these three uh, barbarians here run around the uh, corner and uh, out, of, out of sight past the bend there. Uh, and these two uh, stagger to the front lines. Albeit this one's going to take one more set of two die four from Winley, uh, from Winley's spike growth. Hurting but not dead. Uh, and then with that, it is going to be Sunny's turn. All right. Uh, well, he already he already kind of turned his attention to this one, so we'll keep digging in on that. Um, uh, no, actually, he likes variety is the spice of life, as Sonny is well aware. So he's gonna uh, attack the one right in front of him. Okay. Uh, there you go. Just rips his fucking hamstring out. It's a good boy, Sonny. Uh, and then yeah, that's it. That's it for Sunny. Okay. Doc. Um, so guy directly to my east here is pretty messed up at this point, or how's Uh he? he's been pretty pretty beaten up, but he's still still fighting strong. Okay. Uh, he'll get two attacks then. A very solid punch. And Uno Mas. Uh he is barely standing after those two blows. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah. Alright. I attempt to stab a guy, and I miss. That's my turn. Okay. Uh, you almost got hurled off the cliff, by the way. Awesome. Winley. Someone saved you. Someone caught you. It was cool. Sorry. Winley. Okay. Um. I will. <clears throat> Poison this guy once more. Or attempt to. Uh, he coughs and sputters, but does not seem as heavily affected this time. All right, that's fair. And then I'll uh, shoot him in the face as well. I'll use my bardic inspiration. <laughs> Uh, you are inspired to blast his face literally off. All right. Love that for me. Anything else, Winley? Um, I'll turn to Ash and say, maybe get away from the cliff edge. Yeah, maybe. 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 That's it. Okay. Harmony. Uh, too inspiring for my own good, I see. Harmony creeps up to get a fuller view of the battlefield and will... Uh, throw a vicious mockery at this fella. She's just she's working on her tight five here in this fight. It's fair. Uh, the tight five is effective, and uh, he seems vi viciously mocked. Great. Happy to hear that. All right. Uh, that'll be it for me. Okay. Trying to conserve resources. Sure. Next up then is going to be Mina. All right. Uh. Mina will try to... Which of the two that... Which of these two look more beat up? The one in the back is one of the ones that got ripped to shreds running through the spikes. Alright, well, let's shoot him in the face. Um, add, you know, insult to injury or something like that. Uh, here is a sharpshooter for him. Does a 13 hit? It does. Oh. Cool. Uh, and you just shoot him in the head and he collapses on top of the goat amongst the many other bodies collapsed on top of said goat. 
Okay, Mina's gonna point her crossbow at the remaining one, and uh, we'll just say something like, okay, now's your chance to give up. Make an intimidation check. Great. Great at these. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, it is his turn, and seeing that all of his comrades have died or fled, uh, he drops his spear and holds, holds up his hands. Sonny. Okay. Um, yeah, Sonny will ready in action to go for his throat if he does anything to continue, you know, being aggressive, but Sonny will wait and see what happens. Okay. Doc? Uh, I will also ready in action and otherwise get away from the cliff, probably. So, like, over here-ish, let's say. Okay. And then Ash. I'm going to attempt to save the goat. Spare the die. And I'm also going to move away from the edge. Okay. Uh, you cast your spell. You're not sure if it, it had an effect or not. Awesome. Okay, Winley is not here. <sighs> the deepest of sighs. I'm here. <laughs> it's your turn. Okay. Oh, what has happened since I went downstairs to get my water? The barbarian has thrown down his spear. Okay. Has anyone talked to him yet? No. No. Okay, uh, Winley will... Hold my action until after Harmony's turn. Okay. Any specific condition here? Um, if more barbarians come, like, from behind us or from anywhere else, or this one moves to attack again, I'll shoot it. Okay. Harmony. Uh, okay. Harmony hears Mina's uh, ultimatum, and upon not hearing the barbarian... Well, I guess you can see. So uh, she'll come uh, striding up and uh, take in the scene of carnage. Um, up close now, is there any resemblance between this guy and the barbarian that uh, 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 the barbarian tribes, we, the, the people we fought at Yester Hill? Uh, only insofar as they are clearly kind of savage people. Uh, he's wearing hides. The spear, the spears that they're all wielding are stone tipped and not steel tipped. Um, hard to say. Okay, uh, Harmony will kind of approach him and uh, uh, will kind of uh, kind of level a gaze at him and say, um, "What is she?" Uh, She'll just... Have they been, like, speaking to each other? Does it seem like they speak common? Uh, it's been mostly battle cries, but he threw down his spear when Mina threatened him. Okay, so he understands common, presumably. Uh, uh... She, Harmony, yeah, that's a fair point, and she'll, um, kind of look him up and down from behind Sonny's, uh, snarling maw and say, Does the name... Strad von Zarevich mean anything to you? Why, is he your lord? Is he yours? No, we answer to none. Oh, well then, this is awkward. So he's been killing this... potential allies. Good shit. Uh, Harmony, um, takes that in. And, uh, says, uh, the, she kind of indicates the large goat, uh, hunting. Aye, until you can. Okay, Winley, you want to explain yourself here? <laughs> um, sure. Uh, Win Winley will say to the barbarian, with actual sincerity like apologies for what just happened you know we've had some not so friendly encounters with um what is apparently 
at least one other tribe of, you know, barbarian type people that were working for um, enemies of ours that we know are allies of Strahd. Um, you know, we, we have unique abilities to speak to animals, so I thought we could perhaps get some information about where we're trying to go from this goat, um, but it turns out that you are not allies of Strahd and you were hunting, so sincerest apologies. Um, and she'll offer to, you know, heal him and help him carry the goat back to his uh, tribe, family, whatever, um, in exchange for whatever information they can tell us about um, where we are and if we're going in the right direction. Uh, Ash, as you begin casting these spells, he kind of turns and, and seems almost like he's about to throw himself at you. What are you doing, witch? Do you not want your allies to live? They are dead. It is a good death in battle. All right, I stop. Uh, you could only do it to the ones that died from melee attacks anyways, and I think they would have had to choose to pull their blows, which it didn't sound like any of us were. Mina's gonna step forward and ask him, what's, uh, what do we find if we go further down this path? You should not. It is not your home. You are trespassers here. But that wasn't what I asked. Uh, make a persuasion check. I'll give you a help on that if you want, Mima. Would love that, yeah. Did the barbarian respond in any it. way to what Winley said to him? I seem to be distracted by what Ash was doing. Uh, he, he kind of just glowers at, uh, Mina and doesn't say anything. Uh, Harmony will kind of pipe up and say, You say Strahd isn't your lord, and you answer no one, but, and she kind of points back in the direction they came at that bridge back there. His image was greeting us, so we were perhaps under the impression that these lands were his, just as most of Barovia. Is. We do not go this way. It is a cursed path. Mm. He's not wrong. Well, if we're stupid enough to, you know, brave that curse, would you mind letting us know what we're in for? Uh, make a persuasion check. Okay. Uh, he spits in Harmony's face. Um, uh, Har Harmony. Winley. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say, Winley will step in again at this point and say, basically repeat what she said before. Like, again, I'm sorry for what just happened. We're more than happy to heal you, send you on your way, help you get your goat home, you know, remove the spells that ravaged your friends over here. Um, we're just trying to find a specific place. We don't even know if we're going the right way. You know, we would do all of that in exchange for a little direction. Where are you going? Uh, and then Winley will turn to Ash and say, Ash, please describe. Yeah, I described the, the vision I saw. It is a sacred place, a dark and sacred place. You should not go there. You should not be here. Unfortunately, oh, that's where we have to go for reasons that are our own. And, you know, we can either heal you and help you, or we can leave you here to die. I do not need your help, intruders. This has been my home my entire life. Who, uh, who are you? I am Graal of the Cavani. So what, uh, can you tell us? Tell us about your culture up here in the mountains of Barovia. So strange. To, uh, what uh, what has led your what has led your people here? Grawl, is that what you said? I am Grawl, and I will not help you any any longer. Either kill me and be done with it, or be on your way. Uh, I choose be on our way. 
but I don't know about the rest of you, uh, rest of you all. Well, is on our way pressing forward despite his urgings that we not do so? Well, that's what I would mean. Okay. Yeah, like, he, he obviously knows where the place is that we're trying to go. And I'm not saying that we should, like, torture it out of him, but, like, maybe a little more effort to try to persuade him. Um, so Winley will turn to him and say, what, is, is there anything that your, your clan or tribe or whatever word he used um, might need that we could provide in exchange for directions to where we need to go? Um, we have, you know, kind of gesturing to the party, lots of skills between us. If you have sick people or need food or shelter or many other things we could help you with, um, happy to do so. We're, we're just trying to not die in the snow and, and get to where we're going. We do not help outsiders. Be gone. Uh, so we probably, we probably can't, I mean, I, I fully think that we should just keep moving and ignore this, <laughs> like, you, you can either help us or get out of our way, uh, is Mina's opinion. Um, maybe, should we tie him up? Should we take him back to one of the structures that we just passed? What do we want to do with this guy? I feel like if he's not going to help us, just fuck it, leave him here. He can do what he wants. He did say they don't go that way, so he's not liable to bring a posse to the temple, I wouldn't think, if we do end up there. I think he just says we, he does, they don't come up the mountain the way we have been coming up the mountain. Yeah, they don't, so, they don't go across the bridge. I see. Yeah. I, I'm not a, by the way, probably just like broadly having this conversation right in front of the guy, uh, because honestly, who really cares if he hears us talking about this? Um, but uh, I'm not really a big fan of leaving him just behind us. Um, I don't know, like what it uh, seems risky to just leave someone. I mean, we could tie him up and take him with us until we find a better place to put him, keep him captive. Uh, good. Tie him up and leave him here. Anyone have a we'll eventually get out a way of persuading him? Oh, for sure. Yeah, why not? I'll bust this out. Uh, Harmony will. Uh, let's see. Do I want to give him? Yeah, sure. Why not? Harmony will uh, give him an unsettling words to give him a minus something to this. A minus five specifically. And uh, is going to cast suggestion on him. Um, Ooh, uh, Winley will throw an additional minus d6 onto his roll. Okay. Okay. And what is your suggestion? Uh, Harmony will say a sentence or two. So something along the lines of You say you don't answer to anyone, including Strahd. Well, if you'd like to keep it that way, we're the ones who are going to kill Strahd. You should come along and help us. But you should come along and be our guide in these lands. We need someone familiar with it if we are to brave the conditions. Uh, he, he sort of blinks as the spell uh, is, is overcoming him and then nods. Of course, it is dangerous here. That it is. Harmony looks meaningfully at the blood spattered snow. <coughs> That it is. Um, and uh, kind of looks up at the rest of the group and, uh, well, it's like, uh, lead the way, Grawl, by all means. Uh, he nods and begins to walk towards your spike growth. Take him down. Take him down. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be super dark. We just lead his suggestion yeah. into this. Uh, after you, Harvey, uh, Yeah. Harvey sort of mops Grawl's spit off of her face and, uh, comments in under her breath. Oh, not the weirdest way I've made a friend, I suppose. <laughs> are, are we leaving the goat? Yeah, Winley's gonna call out as he starts to walk away. Um, will we pass by your home on the way? Aye. Alright, Winley uh, will heave the goat. Either how, how heavy is this thing? Probably not something I can carry, but could we put it in the bag of holding? 
uh, several hundred pounds. It is probably too big for the bag of holding. Okay. Um... How do you how do you normally transport the kills? I assume they do some of the butchering here. We we butcher and carry them with us. When they will kind of mutter under her breath, "Fuck," <laughs> and they're like, "All right, let's do it." <laughs> uh, we yeah, well, all right. If we could do it quickly in like five five minutes, like it's kind of shitty to like bring this guy back to his home and like not bring his food along. And your dad? Do you do anything with your dad? Since you wouldn't let me save them? Aye, we burn. You burn them? Aye. Would you burn them here, or would you take them back? We do hold rights for them. Okay. Do you think that if we came back to your village or wherever you live with news of what had happened here, or you could deliver that news, preferably, uh... Would they send people to take care of all this? I'm just thinking we still may not be enough between all of us to carry all of this meat. Uh, to all deal of with these all dead these bodies. Dead. Yeah. Aye, we respect our own. All right. How, how close are we to your your village? It's a mile or so. Okay. okay. Cool. Yeah. Probably the meat will be fine for two miles worth of walking. Sure. I'll, I'll ask him, will this be okay to leave here until someone else can come get it? He laughs. It's cold, of course. Okay, great. Uh, Harmony um, maybe remarks casually, I uh, think we could take, oh, is there a way to take where we won't pass through your village? Just, you know, for the, sh- the sake of expediency. He nods. The path will not take us through my village. Simply close. All right, uh... Let's maybe not disturb the people of your village. They probably aren't as open-minded about outsiders as you. Okay. Uh, well, then, with the conversation seeming somewhat concluded, he begins to make his way back down the path. Okay. Oh, my control magic. Onward. <laughs> Never good. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, good. A trail of blood Dan, Dan was nice enough to put down for us. Yes. Yes. I do think when we when we get close to his village, we should send him to tell them what happened. Maybe I mean, not all of what happened. Well, yeah, just the general some of our village people have died and there's a The village game. people are dead? The village people are dead, correct. Uh, okay. Well back onto the underworld map we go. I mean Harmony would be more along the lines of maybe just we'll send Grawl back when we get to the temple or whatever. And if the... I, guess what, I guess what we should ask is let us know when we're near the village and then he can either give us, if we're close, directions back to the temple. Because I'm not sure we really want to take him all the way to the temple with us anyway um, and go from there. Well, you make it, uh, as, he, as he claimed, about a mile down the uh, path and find that the path seems to divide. And, and he points this out clearly for anybody who wasn't paying attention. First of all, the blood trail leads towards the south. Uh, you see that it uh, seems to just kind of conti- uh, continue and you see a number of tracks uh, leading in that direction, as well as more uh, older tracks that seem to have come from that direction that seems to be uh, leading towards his camp. Uh, and then points uh, up the mountain pass, uh, which sort of winds up a bit of a switchback uh, to the north, uh, and says, "This is the way to the to the temple. This is the way to my clan." And he points to the south. Uh, will uh, we say, "Is it a straight straight shot to the temple?" This is about another mile or so. Okay, but no more turns or anything. Like he, that? Sh- he shakes his head. This is simply a dangerous path. Cool. I think at this point we let him go back to his village, collect their dead, collect their meat, be done with him. Yeah. Uh, I know we, uh, the suggestion will la- only last for eight hours, but just I would say just tell him like, hey, don't don't follow us, don't come. Yeah, with us. Army will just say, uh, Grawl, my friend, you've been uh, a very helpful guide. I think you should probably see to your hunt and your fallen back at your village.
Okay. Uh, he he kind of just nods and with that uh, begins to to head down the uh, kind of along the uh, trail down towards where he says that his clan has. Harmony uh, kind of looks back at the rest of the group like we should probably get moving before uh, the spell is broken, either intentionally or unintentionally. Yep, let's go. Agreed. Yep, we go. Okay. Uh, following the trail further up into the mountains, you are once again climbing a very steep grade, apparently uh, to some extent switching back above the trail you were just on, but uh, quickly ascending several hundred feet higher. At one point, the trail narrows to about a uh, foot-wide uh, ledge uh, along the way, but uh, I'm not going to make you make checks for it, because I assume between a combination of rope and uh, magic, you'll, you'll probably be able to navigate that without too much uh, trouble, just, just simply to summarize the fact that it is a very dangerous path. Uh, you then find yourselves uh, beginning to travel over sort of fl- uh, flatter lands underlying uh, higher uh, kind of mountains to your east and to your north. Uh, and following the trail, you find yourselves approaching uh, a mountain face uh, against the backdrop of which uh, a very familiar vision is set before you, both Ash and uh, the rest of you. Like so. Ooh. Uh, that the one, Ash? That the one, I assume. It is the one. This Great. is the way. This is the way. Okay. Well, how do you approach? Carefully. <laughs> Does this look like a church to anyone else? I mean, it's a temple. What time is it at this point? Uh, it is getting quite late. Maybe we should uh, tiny hut it. Outside? I mean, I guess we could. The hut is fairly pleasant. Uh, yeah, if we want to try to long... We don't want to... I mean, our, our army's pretty fine on resources, but if we want to try to long rest outside before we go in, we can do that. I mean, do we do we not feel like we gave ourselves a little bit of a timer here with the is yeah, the barbarian as, as soon as he snaps out of being suggested, won't they come up here looking for us? Well, hopefully, yeah. hopefully not. But he uh, does uh, seem uh, to think that this was like a scary place that you might not want to just like go. So they might be they might have enough like cultural fear around this place that they don't want to come up here. Is there somewhere we could tiny hut that it would be like kind of hidden and if they were to come after us while we're long resting, we might see them from within said hidden hut? I mean, we can make it opaque from the, we can see through it from the inside and it can be opaque from the outside. I did also ask in the chat when uh, Dan mentioned Mm -hmm. that there was a one foot section that maybe we might want to try to bar that. In case they it might be away. better to leave it available as an escape route if we need it for whatever reason. Okay. I mean, beyond does Rinley it... have a good way to block that? Because I, I saw your comment and I thought about it, but I, I couldn't think of a good way. I have stone shape, but that might help. I'm not sure the specifics of this. <laughs> yeah, I just don't know how long it lasts. Oh, it, I mean, I think it's permanent. In terms of there's nothing really... We'll need to take a long rest at some point. How is everybody doing resource-wise? Like, I'm fine. very low on... I'm pretty low on... Uh, I'm fine on health and at about a half of my spell slots. I have no third-level spells left. And I've used one of the other types, except for my fourth. I don't know. I, I, I used a bunch of uh, hit die during that long rest, that short rest. Yeah. Because uh, I just mean, you know, Harmony's fine resource-wise to keep going um, and would feel a little iffy resting on the precipice of this temple. But if that's what the party wants to do, she's... No, Mina, Mina is with Harmony. Mina yeah. would agree to that. Okay. I think we press on, at least... A little bit. Inside the first level. Yeah, yeah. for sure. 
Finley's fine with that. Okay. All right, pressing on. Uh, Is it still snowing heavily at this point? It is. Okay. Would be nice to get indoors for a bit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, while kind of trudging your way through the snow up to the uh, the large double doors, uh, there is no trail, there are no tracks, there's no evidence or sign that anybody has been here uh, at any point recently. Uh, there's, a, again, a, kind of a large set of, uh, of iron uh, double doors at the front of the structure. Uh, is anybody oh, knocking, trying to walk in? Is the structural integrity, like, a lot better than the keep was in terms of, like, it's intact and stuff? I mean, the, the keep... Well, sorry, are you talking about the Argon Vost hold, or are you talking about the tower yeah, of Argon Vost hold, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it's fully intact. Okay. Uh, Harmony will kind of, like, look over at Ash as we approach and say, so, did your vision give you anything about what we do now? Okay, so, I probably explained this to you before, but I'll reiterate, all I saw in my vision was the facade. I don't even okay. know if there's anything here that will help me, it's just something that I saw... Uh, I know nothing well, about this place. Given that all your memories disappeared, I doubt you saw it for no reason. Which uh, is the only thing I can think of. I'm hopeful that there's something here that will help me, but I really, that is a hope. That is a me hoping, you know, being optimistic. Given the barbarian sphere of this place, do we want to try to move quietly as opposed to announcing our presence i mean or... i'm not going to be quiet no matter what we do so right i just mean in terms of like there's a difference between not rolling stealth checks and knocking on the door and being like is anyone home i mean i suppose i mean i i kind of assume we're always kind of being a little stealthy right i mean so are we approaching this place like dangerous basically? yes yes we okay. are approaching this place right. as dangerous Okay, so we're not, like, knocking on the door. That makes sense. Uh, do we want to... I mean, there's not really any other... Are there, I saw, like, windows on there and stuff, right? But the door is the obvious entrance. Yes. Is it, like, a wanna, big double door type thing? Yep. Do we want to scope the outside, the exterior out before trying to breach the front door? Nah, it's really cold and snowy, so I mean, uh, yeah, it's going to go up and... Here. Mina's going to go up and pull on one of the door rings and open it. Okay, make an athletics check. You can do it, Mina. Yeah, yeah. It's out of the push door. That's why you're rolling athletics to open it the wrong way. (laughs) See? Okay. Uh, You are able to... It really is more just pulling the snow out of the way as you pull on the door, but you are able, uh, in a very slow grinding... That kind of echoes into the chamber beyond... Uh, able to pull a person-sized opening out of the door. I'm getting flashbacks to uh, Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> and Mina will gesture and kind of pointedly towards Ash after you. All right, I go in. Okay. I'll go follow. Yep, same. Okay. And one moment to move you on to yonder map. Uh, walking through the doors, you find yourselves in a very uh, empty structure, as, as it actually turn, turns out. Uh, you're in an enormous... I'm going to ask you to stop moving. Um, you are in an enormous hall. Uh, the ro- floor is made of sort of a rough-hewn stone. Uh, and looking around the sides, there is almost nothing in this structure as far as uh, kind of what's present. Uh, it looks, it's large, the ceiling looms easily, you know, 100 feet over you because they're kind of coming in where that spire was. Um, but there are no pews, there are no altars, there's nothing in here of, of any great significance, and a oppressive darkness and cold uh, fills this chamber. Uh, and with that, you kind of are where you are. Uh, it's not on the map here, but there is a wall directly to your south, and you just came through the door here. Oh, I was wondering if this was inside or not. Which is why I was moving forward. It's just a very... You are. It's just a very, very big space. Okay. Uh, well, the acoustics are probably tremendous in here. Ash, you wanna... Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I was just gonna say, uh, Mina and Sunny will trot along the wall just towards the... Well, I don't want to be too meta, because I can see, like, from the... Well, no, there's a ways to go there. I'm gonna go left along the wall. Okay. 
Uh, I'll, I'll go like I'll go like thirty feet just to get a little <coughs> wider view. Okay. Um, and kind of working off the same assumption of people using torches or life spells as appropriate here. Uh, uh, actually, I'm sorry. I'll take a second to cast Dark Vision as well. Okay, yeah. okay. let me uh, buff you there real quick. 60 feet of Dark Vision, baby! Uh, Winley's also going to cast Dark Vision. Okay. I mean, I have light. I know. There you go. Um, but heading in that direction, Mina, you vaguely can make out what you think is the wall just a little bit further along there. Um, but it's kind of kind of hard to, to make out, uh, just kind of had it, having headed to the west there. And just based okay. on your perception, uh, and based on the percep your perception of the outside of the structure, it lines up with your understanding of the size. Given that she has dark vision, Harmony will do the same to the east. Okay. Harmony, uh, you you, per, you perceive the bare edge of the of a wall over here. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Sure do. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's see. That's a, that's as far as I can get in one turn. Looks like a wall. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and getting that close, uh, Harmony, uh, I mean, you're, you're seeing something similar on the other side. You see frescoes painted on the walls um, over, and it appears to be uh, kind of looking from right to left for you, Harmony, and left to right for you, Mina. Uh, it seems to be progressively telling the story of this place. Uh, there's very clear and obvious painting of this structure uh, kind of in the southeast and southwest corners. Um, and progressing to the left, you, could, you can see uh, you know, various uh, figures and paintings of monks and what appear to be wizards and knights uh, kind of toiling and laboring at the, the construction of this place, diagrams of large blocks being moved. Um, and kind of progressing uh, along the walls uh, to the north, uh, you then see uh, kind of frescoes and paintings of uh, what look like uh, kind of monsters uh, being pulled into enormous blocks of uh, amber uh, or, or some sort of uh, kind of large yellow stones. Um, but as you are progressing down the walls or as your vision progresses down the walls, I'm assuming you, you follow this story or perhaps you don't. Uh, well, Winley's Harmony gonna, does for sure. Winley's going to join Mina on the left side. And yeah. Could okay. we all join one side? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. actually. Mina will probably like meet up with Winley on her way back. Let's maybe head one direction. There's not very far to go on this side. Maybe let's Does uh, it? the other. Okay. Does, for, if Harmony like moves over to join the rest of the group on this side, does the two sides seem to run in parallel? Like they're, it's not like one end to another. It's like the, uh, uh, what do you call Parallel it? Parallelogram? <laughs> Symmetrical. Yeah. <laughs> Symmetrical, that's the word. It does appear to be, yes. Okay, then army will hop back over to be with the rest of the group. Ash, I assume you want to join them? Yep, you found them. I've joined. Okay. She does love a good story. Okay. Are you following the walls, or are you yeah. going elsewhere? Wall. Okay. Um, as you kind of progress along this, though, just a little bit past uh, the, the kind of the monsters being pulled into the blocks of stone... Uh, you start to see uh, what looks like uh, frescoes and images of fighting. Uh, the knights killing the wizards, the wizards lighting knights on fire, uh, and then uh, eventually the frescoes just sort of stop uh, in this uh, in this chamber, uh, and you kind of have come come to the end of whoever uh, of the space of, that whoever was working on them. Um, Where do they stop? Can you just ping how far down the wall? About here. Okay. Uh, and, as you, yep. uh, yep. and as you come to this wall, uh, you see a stone face. Uh, it appears the temple is built right up into or against the mountain. Uh, so these walls here are stone, and these are statues made of what looked like uh, they were carved of solid blocks of amber uh, of men in wizard's robes uh, wearing hoods uh, and kind of looking, looking down at the floor. Um... Well, should we consider if we're thinking about camping? Uh, is this a place where we would consider camping? 
oh, we should probably make sure there's nothing that's going to come out in the middle of the night. And yeah, Winley is in favor us. of at least walking the full perimeter of this room. All right. Yeah, um, you know. So she's actually going to cast Detect Magic again. Okay. And then do a, a quick little perimeter of the full room. Okay. Uh, upon ca- casting Detect Magic, uh, Winley does not sense any actual magic, but she is filled with a deep sense of unease and discomfort. She will share that feeling with the group. And so then... no to the camping here. Did you cast Detect Bad Vibes? <laughs> well, apparently. apparently I did. Um, and then Winley will start, you know, slowly making a perimeter. Okay. Yeah. And I'll, I'll stay well. with, yeah. Okay. You notice here uh, at sort of seemingly the center of the chamber, there is a staircase leading down uh, into a hallway. Cool. And uh, are the statues identical? Yes, they are all carved okay. of uh, from what seems to be single blocks of amber in the shape of men in wizards' robes. Um, when when Lee kind of looks down the stairs, she gets a strange look on her face, and she just like stands there and stares down the stairs for a while. Um, and then we'll say to the rest of the group, we shouldn't go down. I don't want to go down there. Yeah, what, what you what? feeling? Yeah, why? I, I just, I don't think it's safe. I don't think we should go down there. We pretty much know where we've been is safe. Uh, can you be more specific? Not, not really. No, she doesn't really say anything else. She just says, like, I really don't think it's a good idea for us to go down there. Well, yeah, um, cool. And then... And then we'll turn and purposefully not look down the stairs anymore and keep walking the perimeter. Did you did you see something? Did you are you just getting like a really bad vibe? Like what's led to this this feeling? She seems to kind of have retreated into her mind and doesn't really say anything else. <laughs> okay, well for Mina that's like obviously I gotta go down these stairs. Yeah, now, now I, I want to go down. Like, now, yeah, now I have to. Um, but okay. yeah, okay. all this way. When they will, uh, as if hearing or seeing something else, uh, turn around into the party, say, "If we have to go down there, not immediately. Just let's let's walk this room and all right. take well, our time. Maybe pet, put put a camp up in the very like corner over here where we can keep an eye on both the stairs and the door coming in. Yeah." And, uh, I mean, I don't know if Winley was saying sleep it off. She just said Let's, she wanted to keep Case in the room. I mean, okay. it's the room at this point. And if we're thinking, but it, I mean, how badly do we need a long rest? Uh, I can survive I that one. I mean, every long rest brings me closer to being a little more helpful. Mm, that's true. <laughs> I guess also not to metagame too hard, but we are pretty close to uh, level eight, so having that long rest on standby for if we do crack that while we're here so we can sure. get access yeah, to this. That's giving you a little too meta. I, I, and I acknowledge that if, yeah. But now I'm that just... you said it, we're all thinking about it and it's true, so. No, <laughs> uh, I get it. In an attempt to be somewhat sensitive, Harmony will kind of like, you know, be like near Mina when she says this and just say, um, would you feel more comfortable? I mean, we're going to have to spend the night here at the very least. Uh, well, so uh, are you uncomfortable with that? There's something sort of uh, not adding up for, for Mina about, I mean, yes, I think like camping in the corner, I'm not totally against that idea, but if Winley is saying that there's something horrifying down that hallway, then just camping like, around the corner from it feels like an odd choice uh, to yeah. Mina. Uh, is, this, is, a but, yeah. is this like a quiet, hushed conversation? Harmony is Harmony addressing Winley with this and really saying, uh, oh, Harmony was going to ask Winley, like, I mean, you did say can't... Me. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, no, that's totally fine. Spoken. Um, but Harmony would, like, kind of address Mina at some <laughs> Winley at some point and just say, I mean, at the very least, we're going to have to stay here tonight because we can't 
go back out into that. So do you think it'd be better to, what would make you feel safer? Winley will just say something along the lines of, I have reasons to believe that whatever is down there is not going to be friendly to us. Now, that being said, I don't see or sense any specific thing. If you go down there, it might be fun. I just think that it's not a safe choice. Do you indicated, it, like, is if we wait a little bit of time, would, like, would it get better? Would it be, would it become safe for us to go down there? You kind of indicated that if we wait, that might help. You kind of get the feeling that the waiting was whatever Winley was seeing or sensing or hearing or whatever that, like. Maybe that would just be gone and she would feel more comfortable going. Uh, but not that necessarily the danger would pass. It was more of like an I don't want to go down there right now kind of thing. Well, hearing this, I am pro fighting whatever is down there. But uh, Mina also respects Winley's feelings of not wanting to, you know. I mean, is undead senses tingling or whatever? I guess, yeah, you know what, that's, since we're standing here feeling uneasy, I thank you for reminding me, Doc, the one, like, divination type ability I have. Uh, yeah, Mina will bust down, let me see, I think I have to use a spell slot. Um, some primeval awareness. Uh, okay, so, yeah, I'll just use a first level spell slot. Yeah, so for one minute... Oops, two of those left. Um, let me throw that in the chat. Let's, uh, let's talk to the land for a moment and see what it tells us. Um, so for one minute, uh, I can sense if any aberrations, celestials, dragons, elementals, fey fiends, or undead uh, are within one mile of me, and it doesn't tell me like where they are or how many. It just tells me what kind. Uh, she senses both fiends and undead. Okay, I relay that. There's yeah something, some nasty stuff uh, within a mile of us, which <laughs> in Barovia doesn't necessarily mean, mean it's much. in this temple, but yeah. As you yeah. guys are kind of like pressing to go down the stairs or like making it known that like maybe we shouldn't camp in this room maybe we should just press on um if you're if you watch winley um she kind of appears to be kind of like gathering herself like overcoming some sort of internal struggle we'll kind of like shake it off and be like okay let's press on and not say hey, i don't like that you've also seen Winley talk to herself a lot it's true. Yeah, but you've been doing it worse since you got uh, almost dead. So, uh, are only, you possessed? Only mostly dead. I are you only definitely dead. full on died? Yeah. I did. I did. I died. Um, but but Winley will yeah kind of kind of do that and be like, okay, let's let's move on. Let's go. I think Army nods. That guys. So Army yeah, nods and just says, "That's the spirit." Well. There probably are unfriendly nasties down. Oh, when me, me already. Oh hurt. god, the addition just like, track just uh, popped up. Mina's, <laughs> Mina's Hardy's just like, don't worry. We'll uh, whatever nasty things wish us harm down there. Uh, we'll kick their asses. Oh god, uh, uh, is there a red square? Oh god. What we do see is a very large uh, chamber that looks like this. Uh, there is an enormous uh, statue carved of what looks like black stone across the room. Uh, there are a number of uh, kind of windows uh, in, the, in the chamber to the left of which uh, you can see bright glowing green light uh, emanating from and to the right not so much. 
Uh, looking across the chamber, there are uh, large staircases to the right and left leading down to a lower floor. Uh, and peeking around the corners, as you might, uh, there are doors leading off to the left and to the right. Uh, the hallway you passed through to get here had small windows, uh, kind of arrow slits in them. Looking to the left, there was an empty chamber. Looking to the right, uh, there was a small chamber with a uh, what looked to be a, a body curled up in the corner, although quite, quite clearly unmoving. Uh, and with that, uh, you have taken your very first steps into the Amber Temple.